a woman. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really, you're just really yeah. <laughs> um, I'll give you a I'll give you a sixty. So it poss- possibly a woman. Think. It correlates sixty percent. Sixty percent a woman. Is it um Chris Jenner? <laughs> what the <laughs> I just did because she's sixty percent woman. (laughs) Yo, bro, that shit. No, smooth. I'm giving you a five, bro. (laughs) Yo, that is yo. You know, I notice every time I edit these podcasts. Every time I start the podcast, I always cough. That's not good. It's like your initiation, bro. I know. Luckily, you don't got COVID and shit. Like, you know, it's just got you got to clear the throat. Pause. Like I would. Nah, hell no. But, but I was saying, freaking with, I understand why Swifties. Uh huh. Or yeah, I, I don't like saying that word. Why the people who love Swift? <laughs> I don't know why you said that. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Why they were so? Why they kept showing her on the screen? Because when I was watching the Super Bowl, I was like, "Is that Ice Spice with her?" Like every time they pan to Ice Spice, just being near Taylor Swift, I geeked. But why was Ice Spice there? That's so random. Because see, why was Taylor Swift there? But Ice Spice. Like but you before, know why Taylor Swift is there? Ah, uh, yeah. But like, I'm hating. So I'm You're saying hating <laughs> on Taylor Swift because she was in the room. She, cause yeah, bro. Ice Spice better, bro. Nah. It would be meat munching Taylor, <laughs> and I'm not going for it. Nah, bro. She getting whitewashed. You know that, but right? Ice Spice. She was in there, bugging up. You seen? You seen what she was wearing, bro? Nah, but I saw that. She had the. She had the. <laughs> <laughs> she had she had the the chain on, bro. Upside down cross. You don't. You don't no, want... she didn't do that. All right, bro. You better look at the pictures, that, bro. bro. She didn't do that. bro. She throwing up them things. I don't know. She, she didn't she, do that, bro. That's her initiation, bro. She At halftime, hey, bro. At halftime, they was cooking up some voodoo in the in the My ice spice. Yeah, yeah, ice spice, bro. Like, bitch, <laughs> think you the shit, bitch. You not even the far. Yeah. Bitches be quick, but I'm quicker. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah, bro. She is like quick. bitches be thick, but I'm thicker. Yeah, she is. She has gone to the she other could be side. Rich, but I'm richer. That's why she rich. Not say, oh. That's why she rich, bro. You know too many Ice Spice songs. You bumped that in the car, like yeah. be <laughs> yeah, I, I, I downloaded her album OD. I go. Out. She's actually kind of fire. Like I definitely downloaded her album, bro. So without the fame, you would have been listening to her. Yeah, so like even like because I, I bumped Glorilla. And I think Glorilla ugly. So mm. Glorilla's not bad though. So yeah, on the Ice Spice thing. versus Lotto. Ice Spice is fire. Ice Spice versus Lotto. You want Ice Spice with Ice Spice. But nah. big Lotto. She's hard. My fault. That was Mook. But like nah, <laughs> nah. But nah, nah, nah. Ice Spice still top though. Is she lie. top one? Yeah, top one. She's not even in the argument. She's just above she, them. She's just above Above them. Them. Yeah. The rest of these Wow. Sl- sentient beings. <laughs> Oh my god Yo 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 Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast I'm your host DWK Darius If you haven't noticed already I got one of my co-hosts with me T Tyrone in the building You know what I'm saying Yeah the top up You know Big Fed Big Federal Guess how how many burgers he has in his hand (laughs) In the comments right now If you're listening to this right now (laughs) Yeah I'm a big nigga bro I gotta eat Niggas still don't How many do you think I got What burgers Yeah how many do you think I got At least two And I got two yeah, I got two. Got pickles. Extra? Is it extra pickles? Nah, I wish though. That'd be busting. That's but crazy. I got shake, shake that shack sauce. Shake that shack, shack sauce. Yeah, shake that shake shack, shack sauce. Shake that shack is crazy. Yeah, shout out to Shake Shack, bro. These just busting. Nah, every. Oh, wait. God, praise the Lord. Amen, first, amen. Bro. Of oh, course, bro. of course. Nah, Shake Shack, bro. Honestly, if they could put any food, pl- like the just because. They open up a new like restaurants like you know on the highways and shit. So there's one right by our crib. And it's restaurant. a Shake Shack. Mm-hmm. It's a Shake Shack and a Popeyes. Mm-hmm. What other restaurants would you want over there that'll make it like you know I'll go there every day? I ain't gonna lie. Before I would have said Smash Burger. Mm. Smash Burger used to be or still is, but I've had it in a minute. But Shake Shack is getting Big. crazy right now. Top three burger places. Oh my god! Why would you do that to me, bro? Top three burger places. I, I'm putting it out there right now. Yeah. Five guys is booty. You know, that is a very unpopular opinion, but, but I'm not mad at that. Five guys got no flavor, bro. It's honestly, and it's really expensive. Like Expensive. I would get and Shake they Shack. Fry, they use peanut oil for their fries, bro. Oh, yeah. You, you I allergic can't even to eat that. Niggas allergic to that shit, bro. Niggas is 6'8 allergic Smash to that. Smashburger. Uh, yeah, I got to say loyal. Smashburger, Shake Shack, In-N-Out. 
But In and Out was a little gas, but In and Out, cheap. You ever had Whataburger? You be around what? Whataburger. Water burger? What a burger. Like W H A T A burger. Where's that in the Philippines? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that? That's just in the, it's in the south, like Texas. Like South South. Never heard of it. When's the next when's the next time you go in like like traveling? Are you going to the south anytime soon? Going to Toronto. Nah, that's way out the way. Wait, mm. when are you going to Toronto? March 9th. March 9th? Like with the in a month. Oh, less than a month. With the guys or your your family? Me, Steve, Kenny. Oh, just, maybe Eli, but yeah. Yeah, driving yeah. up there? Nah, not flying. Okay, I was about yeah. to say, driving. In, Montreal was like, what, 12? Montreal, nah, Montreal's not even that. Montreal was um six, like seven, eight. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I be, mm-hmm. You know, I'd be mixing up Montreal with Quebec. Quebec mm. is the one that's stupid that's far. Deep. That I shit, would never. Quebec, like, maybe, like, 20 hours. That shit's, like, like up the top, top, bro. I should have told him, make my shit well done. Why, your shit? Your shit it's juicy? good, but he ain't make it well done. You want your shit? What do you mean, well done? Like well done, bro. Like hot, hot? No, like crispy. Like you know, you get a steak. Yeah. Medium rare. Yeah. yeah. I don't get medium rare. I get medium well. Yeah, you got black in you, bro. What you, you get? You gotta have the well in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, you can't get rare. I right? get well done though. You know what? Always. I used to get well done. I used to get well done until Fritz put me on because Fritz is the steak connoisseur of the group. Like Fritz goes to Ruth's Chris at least once a month. What? Yeah, Fritz is balling. This nigga know. got bread. Yeah, him and his girl love steakhouses. It's crazy. Yeah, I want to say it has something to do with Haiti, but I don't know. <laughs> what? <Where> is- <laughs> I don't know, bro. I can't even hate. Bro, <laughs> the nigga, yo, he, he would bread he man. would deny it, but he 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 go to Ruth Chris, he go to BJ's, he go to but he go to like the the steakhouses that niggas don't even know about. That's not like chain steakhouses. Like um. Damn, play with Cardi be talking about Ruth Chris. Mm-hmm. That's the rich shit, bro. He be getting... He had like a $100 steak before. So oh, no. I had a $180 steak. I'm up. Yeah, really? I Where? Got, yeah, I got a flex. Where at? Miami. I went to Miami. You know Jose and him like the ball. Yeah. So, was went it? to some steakhouse. Okay, now... Okay, is a $180 steak compared to a regular steak? Is there I a difference? Lie, that shit was busting. I shouldn't have got it well done, though. Because <laughs> it was a real steak. That's what I'm saying. I should have gotten it either medium well or... What's below, whatever below it. Like, I used to get well done. Like, when I get, like, I only get steaks, like, once in a while just because, like, if I want, like, protein and shit. But I, I get well, I used to get well done. But then Fritz is like, nah, try medium well because that's when it'd be juicy and stuff. So I'm like, all right, I try it. <laughs> <laughs> you want that shit juicy, huh? But go ahead. <laughs> I tried it. I'm like, you know, it's not too bad. Okay. Okay. But, like, because, like, me, like, what's that called? You ever seen a nigga eat, like, a rare steak? Before, yeah. Well, I've seen a rare steak. I don't really watch niggas eat steaks, but yeah, I've, <laughs> I mean, I've yeah, I've seen a nigga order. It. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, like a yeah, like a bloody yeah. yeah. I don't like that shit, bro. But I went to a steakhouse. What is it? Double cut steakhouse in in the Poconos. Yeah, I just came back from the Poconos. For y'all, I don't know that. Um, yeah, he be everywhere. Yeah, once and I went so tubing and shit. But either way. I went up there and we got went to Double Cut Steakhouse. Worst steakhouse. Worst. I do not recommend. Do not go there. First of all, I asked for well done. No, I asked for medium well. Is that the one that's on the... Right by that water park shit. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I know I heard that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's just ass? Horrible. Wow. The mac and cheese, was, everything was bad, the food. But Double Cut Steakhouse had... Um, I ordered medium well. Somebody else ordered medium rare. Somebody mm. ordered medium. And two other guys ordered medium well. Mm-hmm. When we got it, they all came out the same. They all came oh, out really? well done. <laughs> like, I wasn't tripping because I really wanted well done for real. But everybody else was like... Everybody else was like, what? Except for one guy. He ordered... We both ordered medium well. Mine came out well done. His came out like rare. Oh, like, shit. Like medium rare. You know? I was like, what the hell? And they're like, oh, you're medium well? And I'm like, his is red. Mine is black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they bugged up. So... How much you paid? Like how much was that steak? It was uh well total for everything we got was eighty four. The uh, steak was probably I think forty. Okay. So like 50, what, are you maybe. those type of niggas that like when you go to a steakhouse you gotta get a steak? I just feel like somebody's gonna cook me. Nah. And I gotta protect myself. Because if I go to a steakhouse and get chicken. I'll be like, look at this niggas. black ass nigga getting chicken <laughs> at a steakhouse. You could have just you know what, what you mean? <laughs> like sometimes niggas like 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 J- me like me and Jay, like Jay don't really eat steak, but I'll eat steak if it's like an option. But like if I'm I go to a steakhouse, I'll get like chicken I'll get chicken wings. 
Ah, oh, yeah, you're like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, toddler. Yeah, so you, that's exactly what it, it is. It would be different if I had like chicken fingers and french fries. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, but chicken wings and french fries. Like you're getting like wing, the same wings you get at like Buffalo Wild Wings? Nah, I'm talking about like Dallas BBQ wings. Like with the whole no, wing. No, 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 no. Those, Those wings is cracked. So I just came back. Remember, I just came out from the city. Remember yeah. I told you I went to the summit and uh, they were like, yeah, bro, we're keeping your bread. So when that happened, <laughs> I was with the girl. She was like... um, no, don't worry. We'll go to um. Damn, opping. But I was like, <laughs> yeah. but then it was like, going. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, what's going? On? But then was like, um, let's go to Dallas BBQs, and she paid. So we went, and when I tell you Dallas BBQs, that was the first time you geez. had that. No, I've had it plenty what? of times. I'm about to say, but like, I'm going back this weekend. Just I'm just gonna take the train, go. Can I get an order to go? Get ten and dip. Wait, what kind of wings though? The sticky ones, yeah. bruv. Only the sticky the stickies ones. Stickies go crazy. Only the sticky ones. Those just are so Buffalo's good. Bu- Buffalo's not bad, but like it'd be like if you can get half and half. Sometimes uh, they let you. If you oh, finesse mix them. it in the, the sauces. You tell them. You tell them like, can I get half buffalo, half sticky wings? Or if you can order five and you order five, if you feeling like you got not bread, sticky. You ever had the Hennessy wings? I never had those. Not, I did when I was like, a, like younger. Like and they tasted like crap. <laughs> like, why would anybody want that? It's just for like what? Yeah, like, they're booty. So did you go to the one on like Times Square? Yeah, right in the middle of Times Square. Dang. And it was like that. That was amazing. <sighs> and they have great pina coladas. Yeah. Yeah, bro. The lemonades be busting too. I always get the lemonades. Yeah, bro. bro. It's just be busting, bro. Speaking Dang. of drinks, I'm about to drink my my drink of the day. Is a why is it doing that? My fault. It's a Propel. What flavor is that? Berry? This is berry. And it's bussin. Let berry me, bussin. Let me... This nigga said berry bussin. That is not <laughs> shit, what he meant. This shit is berry bussin. Like, <laughs> you feel me? Really very bussin, but it's berry bussin. Like, I re- I'm really a rapper, but this shit is OD. Fun like, fact about Propel. When I was a kid, bro, that used to be... I used to drink that shit instead of water, and I thought it was healthy. Did that count? Um, I guess it's healthy, but not better than water. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if, if, like in between water and Gatorade, but I, I, but I heard something about Pro, like, Jay. Did you say Propel is like bad for you or some shit? Wait, what? Like, like, bad for you? Why? Like, what was wrong with it? I don't know. My parents had got it and then they switched it up and they stopped drinking it. Like we had a whole thing for it. Oh shit! Nah, bro. Oh, let me look. This you up. about to look it up? <laughs> yeah. <bro. laughs> I don't know, bro. I be seeing a lot of shit. I I still drink them, but like, I but I haven't drank Propel in a while though. It's perfect for hangovers. Is it really? Yeah. Is it like electrolyte water? I mean, Collins are going crazy enough. You saw what? Is yeah, it like it's electrolyte, electrolyte water? water, but like, mm. instead of sugar. Let's see. Mm. Let me know. Hold on. Let me. Bean. You said lower? Yeah. Bad. I don't even know how to search properly. I said propel being bad. Like, <laughs> but why you search for that? I got I got a couple announcements to make for the pod. So, like I said, welcome to the podcast. podcast. We meet. You said what? Shit has potassium in it. Potassium? Yeah. Like a uh, bananas? I heard that's good for you. Oh, wait, no, on. they are, but it's kind of odd. Like, it has artificial sweeteners because they use zero sugar. So, artificial sweeteners are usually really bad for you. Dang. So, like stevia? What? Stevia is like a fake sugar. It's like a sugar alternate. Yeah, let's go with that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really an old nigga. Yeah, you. <laughs> but um, we didn't we didn't threaten the the viewers. Because we have to threaten them to get to our like goal of 50 likes. And we also got to threaten y'all for post notification. You know what I'm saying? Post notification on all the videos. You know, helps us out with the algorithm. If you're listening to this on uh, Spotify or Apple Podcasts, you know, give us a review. Five stars. It don't hurt. But it helps us out a lot. You know what I'm saying? We probably got, mm-hmm. I think we got 30 views on Apple Podcasts and 100 on Spotify. Let's make that 60. There's at least 100 of y'all that watch us or listen to us every week and Yo, watch us. If you don't like or comment, one of the two. The or youngest person post in your notification. Is die. Whoa. Not the youngest. Yeah. Yeah, your little brother, he's gone. <laughs> okay. You heard it from here, bro. 50 likes, post notification, send it to a friend. All that stuff puts us in the algorithm. And we got a couple sponsors for today's video. We got uh, Bottle Joy. Shout out to Bottle Joy for the last couple weeks. If y'all want a bottle, there's diff- many different colors. It lasts you. It will stay cold for about, I'll say, 18 to 24 hours. I'm telling y'all. 32 ounce bottle. Probably give you around 40 bucks. I got to look at it again. But if you use our code, which we'll have soon, just give it a couple weeks, you can get 20% off. And I want to shout out my little cousin. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his little uh, clothing branch. I don't know if you peep. He got a co- uh, he's making hoodies and shit. It's called Ease the Pain. You know what I'm saying? 
That's what I'm wearing today. Shout out to you, man. You know, the whole family, we all little entrepreneurs. So if you want hoodies, he's dropping hoodies on Friday. If you see this right now, it's going to be Sunday. So I'll put his link in the bio for all that stuff. And yeah, that's all the no- that's all the announcements we have for today. And Propel is bad for you, <laughs> supposedly. <laughs> Drink your water out of your bottle, Joy. Unless you guys <laughs> sponsor us. But um, yeah. Um, unless, oh. I would shit. I would drink it to the day I die. <laughs> drink it to the ground, my nigga. What? I love Propel. Bro, I used to get the lemon one. Oh, yeah. You're a weirdo. Wait, why? Lemon is bad. Flavors. Why do you say that? You always say you're that. You're picking lemon instead of berry? No. Oh, okay. But I would switch it up nowadays. Like, you know, like I can't just keep getting berry. Like, lemon's top two, though. It, it, if I get the lemon, it's going to come like a um, a diet lemonade. This is going to taste like a diet? No, yeah, it's not. That's what I feel like it's going to taste. You don't feel like it's going to taste like a diet no, lemonade? No, I, I had it before. It doesn't taste like diet lemonade. Yeah. I drink diet lemonade, though. I drink diet everything, honestly. If y'all don't know, like, I, I have diet everything in this crib. You go in my crib, in the fridge, there's diet juice. Like diet V8? Nah, like diet, <laughs> diet. Uh, what's that? Simply. Simply or, I forgot which one. Not Minimate. Yeah, you're... Uh, tropical... That shit? Nah, I think, no... I don't know what is that. I think it's simply. I'm pretty sure it's simply. But hey, bro, you gotta, you gotta. Shit, shit. I'm saying, shit, you gotta treat your body like a temple, bro. Is it yeah. This nigga Tyler don't give a fuck. Bro. Yeah, I'm just a hater, <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. But don't you got a game for us to play before we start the the pod? All right, so we're about to play. I don't remember the name of the game, but shout out to the two twin. They're twins and they have a podcast. Forgot their names. Mallory Bros. I don't know. They do like a lot of games on their shit. Are they light skin? No, nah, they're white men. Oh, I know you're talking about. You know, what I'm talking about yeah. yeah. They're, they're the pretty... way you said that. It yeah, made me uncomfortable. <laughs> white men. But yeah, it's not a great. So you're gonna guess. Yeah. This is the first one. Yeah. All right. You're gonna guess. So. Oh, I think I know where we're going with this. You're gonna say anything on a broad scale, specific scale. Oh shit. And I'm gonna give you a score. Uh huh. If it's a hundred percent, that, means, that you. means you got it right. Closer to zero, the farther away you are from it. Okay. Excuse me. So, for example, if the I if what I what I'm trying to name or the topic I have is a water bottle, and you say plain, then I'm gonna give you like a seventeen. Okay. 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 I, I get. Yeah. I get. Because you know, like, right. yeah. Exactly. And then is and from there. So, All right. Bet. Bet. I'm ready. At the end, then I'll tell everybody what it is, of course, see how close you get. But um, my thing for today, my thing for today, um, let's see, let's, let's start you off pretty, pretty fucking hard. Let's go to hard. <laughs> let's go to a very specific one. Let's watch how, watch how I cook this nigga. Let's go to a very specific one. Um, okay. <clears throat> go ahead. I got one. Um, Phone. Golly, I'm too nice with Yo. it. Come on, bro. Phone, um, eighty-five. No, ninety. Ninety iPhone. Ninety. <laughs> so ninety. Um, ninety-one. Ninety-one. I'll give you ninety-one. iPhone ten. Eighty-nine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Damn. Start off with phone, iPhone. So it's in the iPhone. Apple? I'll say a 92. Oh. Is it the those Apple Apple iPhone headphone thingies? Those Apple i things that that been going around? Okay, so you're not going in the right direction. Damn, so I'm going to give you an 88 I fell here. I fell you're, off. You're not you're not But I mean, it's a, okay, it's Apple though. Start off hot. You just Okay, Apple Apple uh, Apple AirPods. Okay, so it's a ninety still. You're back to a ninety. What? So you're going in the wrong direction. So a- it's still Apple. So it's Apple. Apple. I'm giving you no hints. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Apple. Oh, this is way hard. <laughs> Apple. Remember, first thing you said, iPhone. iPhone. Apple iPhone 15. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go 88 here. Yeah, you're going back. Shit. Yeah, your score. So I so the fir- the first thing I said was phone, right? Mm-hmm. Phone. Then you said Apple, and what I give you? I give you ninety two. Ninety two. 
So Apple phone, iPhone is a 91. It's a phone. What kind of phone you got? <laughs> <laughs> See, it, I'll give you one small hint. It might not be a phone. You know what I'm saying? What so the fuck? Think, remember, I, I said I'm being specific here. So, Apple phone. <laughs> you could think like accessories or anything of that nature. Um, major hint. <laughs> accessories. Um, all right, I said AirPods. So no. Apple phone. Apple phone. Apple phone. Um. Fuck. Can I phone a friend? Um, sure. Jay, Apple phone. <laughs> Apple phone. Case, um, that's going to be a smooth 70. <sighs> yeah, we're dropping. Whoa, this is really... She said case, this is 70. So it's Apple and phone, iPhone. So it's an iPhone. Is it an iPhone? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it might not. It may be broader. It may be... What the fuck? An accessory. It may be... <laughs> You don't know. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to get it in two tries. Right iPhone now, recording. Okay, so you're going so far. So, like, <laughs> I'm not even going to gel off you. This You just hit, like, a 65. <laughs> like, right now, that, that's a 65. 65 is your score. Right Yo. Now. Okay, now I got I to okay, go. I, I gotta, don't even know how many attempts you're at because I wanted to keep a record of how many attempts you're Oh, I'm at do. six. Okay. Nah, you're, I think you're at seven, but we'll go okay. with that. You can check it in. All right, in now the let me. I got to. I have to switch it up now. MacBook. That is a 72. Okay, so that's way back. <laughs> you moved up from 65. So we're at Apple iPhone. Is somebody sponsoring Apple? Uh, Bill Gates. I like the way you're thinking. I like that you're going outside the box. <laughs> this is what I appreciate. But I'm going to give that a smooth 68. Oh shit. Yeah, that was I, I like I like the way you're thinking. Keep your keep thinking. Apple iPhone charger. Good job, my brother. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. took, you, took you a minute though. Oh yeah, my god. The charger, bro. Okay. Okay. That that, cuz every time I come I need a charger. Today's the day I don't. Okay. Nice. Whoo! Thank God. I yeah, thought I was bro. doing so bad. I don't know how I got. That. <laughs> you got enough. I hate yo. Why niggas? UJ. This is what UJ sent, bro. What? He just sent me this now because he saw the post. The fuck? He that's just sent my, you a, a picture me. of your shoes. Yeah. Because I it, got my, my your shoes ankles is out. Cut. Dang. You see my shoes at you? That nigga. Yo, he left his freaking. Is what? he at your crib? Nah, he's not there uh, this week. Not not until half the semester. Oh wow! Because Keen does have some message. But nigga left his freaking his gift. gift I gave him. Yeah, stupid nigga, bad friend. <clears throat> but you got another one. So you want to do the second game? Or you want to do another? I, I nah, we'll do another one. one. We'll do the second game at the end. Cause right. I got some stuff we can talk about. So I got another one for you now. Now that you understand what's going on here, yeah, I'm actually knowing. Um, we're gonna go. All right, I got one. Go ahead. Um, let's go blue. Um, seven. Ah, blue seven. Okay, so not really a color, I guess. <laughs> or it's okay. Um, colors in specific to this. Um, I'm guess I think it's a person, a black man. Okay, so at the end, you I may get judged, but this is like <laughs> this is I'll give you a twelve. <laughs> twelve. Matter of fact, a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a 22 on that one. <laughs> you said I'm going to get judged? Yeah. I'll explain why after. You're at two. I'm keeping record of how bad you are at this. Okay. <laughs> Black man, blue. Um, Let's go Idris Elba. Okay. So, I, what did I give you? I gave you 22? 22. 22. 22. All right. Smooth 12. This is going back. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, a woman. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really going to get judged for this one. Yeah. Um, I'll give you a, I'll give you a 60. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What is this? I'm thinking something really bad. I got to play this game with Corey. 
<laughs> yeah, this is great. Okay, a whoop. So it poss- possibly a woman. Think it correlates sixty percent. Sixty percent a woman. Right. <laughs> Is it uh I think Jay gets it. But go ahead. I do <laughs> no, go ahead. Is it is it um Chris Jenner? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Yo, yo. <laughs> yo. I just did <laughs> cuz she's 60% woman. Yo. <laughs> bro, that shit no smooth. I'm giving you a 5, bro. Yo, yo that is yo. 60%. Okay. Okay. Wow. So think. Wait. Yes. The correlation between <laughs> A gorilla. <laughs> okay. So girl, you're you're all over the place and I don't like this one. This is not what I like. So that a gorilla, I'm gonna give you a two. I'm giving you a two. You're not correlated. Yeah. You know what my yeah. thought process is? Sixty <laughs> percent of gorillas are probably women. <laughs> oh shit this is so bad Yo, uh, <laughs> you're getting a master's degree Yo. <laughs> oh holy crap alright bro wow so woman so think around woman what a woman oh 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 yeah. oh um dress Address. Nah. 40. 40? Okay. Nah, 30. <sighs> Curly hair. 20. Going lower. So, woman. So, it's in the realm of woman. Mm-hmm. So, you can name a place. You can name a room. You can name a object. You can name... Woman. 60% of woman is at this place. Um, Sephora. <laughs> two. Two. Uh, woman place um there's not black no not on, honestly not even a race so uh strip club okay um that's a four four oh wow we're just we're just going down what's what's my count at right now you're at like a sw- like probably like Eight. easy Eight nine. Let me know in the comments where I'm at right now. Yeah, if you're, you're watching this, pretty, you're doing I'm pretty, doing pretty bad. Pretty garbage. Um, uh, fuck. So I'm thinking of woman, woman. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Jay. If you want to phone a friend, my oh you're not Jay, locked Jay in. Not, at not like, locked in at all. No. Not locked in at all. Okay, okay anyway. woman. Um, nails. No, that's 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 like a. 17. 17? God. Yeah. It's just... Okay, you know, I, I just got... You might as well just start over. I know, that's Go what I was about to say. I was, I'm just about to just say something. Um, New York City. Six. <laughs> Fuck. The goal is 100. So I know the goal. You're really low. Like, <laughs> the goal is 100. You're really Fuck. low. Fuck. Oh, my God. Um, the decline of theirs was just um, started off. Now. Yo, it was so bad. Yeah. It was so good at first. Now it's so bad. I'm just not even Valentine's Day. Um, I'm gonna give you a one. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, <laughs> woman? What yo, just think? start over, bro. Yeah, like woman. mentally, just start over. What <laughs> the hell? Because like I said, I'm gonna get judged for putting that that high, but it, it correlates for sure. But go ahead. What? Um. Oh. Uh, what? I bet you the people in the comments definitely get into faster than you. No, they're definitely not. Like they're closer. With, so like with what I'm giving out, I don't know no. what the yeah, hundred um, yeah, percent. Like after I said woman, they probably got closer. Oh, um, all right. You know, I got I got to start going broad and then get specific. So I'm gonna go. Uh, place. Ooh. We'll name a place. That's like fuck. That's like me saying letter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Name it place. Yeah. Um, 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 United States. Okay. Um, <laughs> ten. Yeah, I guess. Right? Okay, I guess. Las mm-hmm. Vegas. Eleven. Okay, Mexico. 
<laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Casinos. Zero. <laughs> Zero. What's in Vegas? Yo, you're so low. So like, when you get like an eleven. T- like these numbers are so far from hundred that you're like way off. Like, like going from ten to eleven doesn't help. Yo, fuck, woman, woman. Start like, like, like. Am I too specific? Yo, stop thinking. Start over, bro. Yo, don't even think over. Bro. All right, um, uh, car. No, no, BMW. Four. <laughs> After this, you got to give me one and I'm going to cook you. I'm going to get you on four tries, bro. It's about to be um, uh, purse. One. What? Yo, I'm so bad. Pink. Zero. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's something that women do. Um, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. But you I like the way you think it's something that women do. Now you're on the right track. Now you're on the right track. I like that. I like what do. you think. Oh, oh my god, this is gonna be so bad. You're thinking very right. Relationships. <laughs> Zero. Fuck. It's something that women do. You're thinking on the right track. Complain. <laughs> so I think it's incriminating himself. One. <laughs> Think Fuck. of an action. Think of an action. What women do is an act as an action. Yeah. What are what do women do? I'll give you a hint. Okay. I'm just gonna say household. Oh, clean. Okay, we are making progress <laughs> here. We are making progress here. I'm gonna give you a 37. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, Windex. All right. So a 37 is a very low number. <laughs> Don't think you went a little less broad, but you didn't go to where we wanted. Not even a little bit. So when next, that's going to drop you to like a 27. Cleaning, clean, cleaning. You remember we said what something women do. Cook. Our, now we are spitting. Now we are spitting. <laughs> this is all we wanted from you, Darius. Right now you're at a 80. Woo! 80, oh, 80. Uh, burgers. Okay, we're going down. Uh, that's 65. Cook, clean, give advice. You're going so far away from where you want to be. Cook. Okay, cook. They cook. It's about cooking. Steak. <laughs> no. This is a 55, bro. Oh. Actually, no, I'm lying to you. That's a 67. 67? Okay. Has to do with food. Cook. Bro, you went down. Oh, 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 yeah. It's not so food. It, it, so it's an action. What else does woman do? I told you, just rethink your, your mindset. Woman was a 60, brother. Exactly. Fuck. And cook was an 80. So get off a of woman. Now go to cook. 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 So chef. what cooks? What cooks? A chef. No. That's <laughs> a chef. I'll give you a 60. Mother. A 60. Wife. A 60. <laughs> Yo. Eight, stick to cooking. <laughs> cooking. What cooks? Cooking. What uh, cooks things, bro? What cook? Uh, oven. Great. We're making great progress. Now you're at like a uh, 90. Oven. Cookies. It's not food. You're going farther <laughs> away. So a cookies is going to be a 55. An oven. An oven. A Dutch oven. Are you serious? <laughs> no, that's eighty nine. No, eighty nine. <laughs> oven got you to ninety. Oven baking. So let's look at say eighty. So now look at other things that cook. Oven was a ninety. You were damn near there. Ooh, a stove. <clears throat> Ninety two. Skillet. A pan. Going farther away, 78. Um, microwave. Good job, finally. You're fucking crazy. You finally got to Is it what I think you're talking about? Microwave, that's it. You got no. it. That is it. The, the word was microwave. But why is it judgmental for women? Because I put women, like, oh, woman they, cook. Oh, shit. Yeah. Why'd you say microwave? 
Mike, it, I thought it'd be easier. Oh, I, didn't, okay. I, didn't, I, didn't, I thought, you know, normally you'd start off like house and then <laughs> kitchen. You know what I'm saying? To narrow it down. I know. I went so far, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. left. You said dress. You said everything, but <laughs> the direction we were going. All right, bro. It's my turn, though. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think of one. Damn. Watch. I'm about to cook you. It's quick. This be like, all right. Five, all right. Five. All right. Watch the feed. Watch the feed. Watch the feed. Um... Okay. You good? Yep, I'm ready. Uh, let's go with the ocean. Um, that's like a two. Okay, so we're not we're not in the ocean. We're not in the ocean. We're gonna go New Jersey. Yeah, still a two. Okay, so we're we're not even thinking the right thing. We're gonna go LeBron James. <laughs> Individual. We're going straight for the <laughs> two. Okay, two. No, zero, uh, zero. Zero, wow. Okay, so it's not, it can't be a person. Let's go with uh, food. Ooh, you're at 60. Okay, so we're leaning in the right area of food. So we'll go with, uh, let's go with mashed potatoes. Uh, 40. 40, we're going away. We're going away. We're going to go to beverage. Any beverage? A beverage? Um, 35. Okay, so it's, we're going to stay in the food realm. We're going to go to... <clears throat> all right. Oreos? <laughs> um, 45. We're not even close. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay. 55. Okay. 55. Oh, move the mic over a little bit. You can move them right around. We're gonna let's go. Uh, damn, food got us to sixty, but now I'm, I'm a little stuck. Fruits. Ooh. Ninety. Okay, this is what I like. This is where this is where we capitalize. Smell blood, as Coach would say. Smell oh. blood. Um, ninety for fruits. Let's go banana. Um. Ninety still. Lemon. 90. Lemonade. Uh, 75. So we went away. We're, we're running away. Fruits. Fruits is 90. Uh, we're close. We're close. That stayed 90. We're going to go to... Pliables? 80. Okay. Damn. Fruit cup. 80, 82. Okay, we're not we're not even we're not making progress. Fruit got us a ninety. What possibly could we be looking for here? What could we be looking for? What could we be looking for? Fruit. Remember, you said um you said bananas. That's a ninety. Because fruit was a 90, bananas was a 90. So. So it could possibly be, be just a fruit. But it didn't move. Wow, well, yeah. Well, it didn't move, though. Yeah. Because, like, okay. Well, then it was strawberry. Ooh, 99. What the fuck? Raspberry? No, 94. Okay. Blueberry. 92. A strawberry is 99. What <laughs> strawberry seed? Ninety nine. Okay. All right. So now actually ninety eight. Okay. So now I think <laughs> maybe maybe now I'm questioning if I know all the fruits of the world. No, now, <laughs> no. you're good. A strawberry. It could be like. Something made with strawberries. It could be something. No way, strawberry lemonade. No, nah, oh, that, okay. That's ninety five. Oh, it could okay. be something with eaten with strawberries. Ch ch don't say chocolate, huh? Don't say chocolate. Ch no, uh, it doesn't make any sense. It couldn't be chocolate. The uh, that would be that would be a uh, strawberry being a ninety. Wait, wait. Chocolate would be a. Uh, I'll put it in the ninety. I'll put it in ninety. What the fuck? Strawberry being a ninety. Nine. Or chocolate, I'll put it at 90. 
Strawberries at 99? Yeah, I'll put chocolate at like 96. What the fuck? Wait. <laughs> but a banana is a 90? Yes. I, I have to talk to the refs. Is it, are you scoring this right? Yes. Wait, there's no way. Wait, banana is lower than chocolate, but chocolate is high. Actually, chocolate 99. What the fuck? Chocolate covered strawberries? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's what I was, okay, 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 okay. See, hundred percent. Okay, 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 okay. Hundred okay. percent. See, was, yeah, okay, okay. Better progress than you was going on. <laughs> nah, yeah, I was all over the place. I was so bad. All right, but I got a question now. Before I get into the topics I want to talk about, yeah. So, God is giving you three hundred billion dollars, mm-hmm. untaxed, mm-hmm. all for you in cash. But if you accept that money. One day a year, every year for the rest of your life, you will feel like you're cooking in an oven. So what I mean by that is like after when that day starts, the first hour gets you feel hot. Second hour gets hotter, hotter until the last hour. It is scorching hot. Feel like you're in a 400 degree oven. And you have to withstand that pain for the whole day. Would you do that for three hundred billion dollars? You can't. There's no remedies to help. It's just you got to withstand the pain one day a year. Three hundred billion dollars. I really don't want to burn. No, well, I mean like I'm you're, just not bur- just, die, you're, not, you're not burning. You're not. You're not burning. That's mad just, uncomfortable. It's just. One I was day. like, I'll play the game. I'll go to sleep. But I'm not sleeping. Mm-hmm. And even if I'm like in a freezer, I'm, I'm doing gonna that. be hot. I'm doing that shit. What? Three hundred billion. Yo, one day out of the year, random day. Once that day is over, I'm good for the rest of the year. Bro, you could be hooping. Yeah. And you're like, I knew it was hot this morning. Now you're hooping, and you're like. Is it that hot? And everybody's like, bro, it's only 60 degrees out. Bro, think about it, right? The first is probably going to hurt by, say I go, say it starts at 12, 12 a.m. It's going to start hurting by like 3 p.m. So then it's like oh, nine hours of pain. Come on, sucks. Gang. You're, not only that, you could be in an interview. You could be at work. You could be in an interview. You could be. Wait, why would I be in an interview if I, I have $300 billion? Oh, shit. I would never be in an interview with day of my life. Niggas would be in. You could be at, you know, an event. You could yeah. be watching the Knicks play at Madison Square Garden courtside. And you're like, damn, I'm, damn, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I knew today was the oven day. And now you're just. I'm just sweating and just like burning. You're going crazy. Like a, you I'm just like on the floor like a like You a don't sardine. want to run because you're going to feel hotter. Uh, no, nah, I'm still doing it though. Nah, no, no. Sign shot. me up. I, I can't Are you serious? I'm gonna, 300 billion. Yo, Ty, that's one day. It's not one day a month. It's one day a year. Yeah, but I, I'm going to be like. Scared? Dying. That's one day you're not gonna die. Catch me off guard, bro. Yo, you gonna wake up? You just gonna have heat flashes? Like, damn. You just gonna yeah, but I won't. Girls be having heat flashes. I won't be able to sleep that night. What you? I mean, that's one night. Put a fan on you might help a little bit. Nah. You're not (laughs) gonna do it. Yeah, because then I walk in the freezer, but the freezer not gonna help me. Nah, I'm doing that shit, bro. Sign me up, God. Nah, that's crazy. Even if you're going swimming, it's gonna feel more uncomfortable. Dang, it's it's like hot water. water. Yeah, you was over here sticky. Can't do it, pal. All right. All right. Keep the bread. But I got something. I got a good topic that we could talk about, right? Okay. So, even like, like you know, it's uh, year 2024, right? Four years since, uh, you know, the the thing that happened that we shall, we shall not name on this podcast because we will get um, talked about. So, we're not talking about that. In 2020, right? Mm-hmm. So, I looked up. I seen the other day that we are in a time loop. Yes, and it's very weird, and it creeped me out. So let me tell you the things that happened similar okay. in two thousand this year, mm-hmm. or this p- past recent year, or right, yeah, in two thousand twenty four that happened in two thousand twenty, right? The Chiefs versus the Forty Nine ers in the Super Bowl. Okay, Chiefs won. Lamar Jackson wins MVP. Oh shit! He won MVP back then, and he won MVP this year. Oh shit! Ravens win the NFC North or AFC North. What LeBron do? Uh, nothing. Damn, he did, he not in the loop. He win the ring. Nope. Uh, isn't that the uh? Oh, maybe type shit. I'm trying. Lakers to tell. might win the NBA championship this year in putting, the loop. Putting bread on it, but go ahead. Uh, Chiefs win AFC West. Texans win AFC South with ten wins in 2020, and they did it again this year. Oh, and it was so unexpected. Yes. Wow. Panthers were last in the NFC South, and Panthers are last in the NFC South this year. 49ers won the NFC West. Cardinals were last in the NFC West both years. Billie Eilish won Song of the Year 
this year, in 2024 and in 2020. She was on here this year? Yep. Damn. 49ers mm. beat the Packers in the playoffs in 2020. Mm. Just like they did this year. The Celtics and Bucks both finished top three in the East. They're top three right now. Celtics and Bucks currently top three in the East. Nuggets finished third in the West. Nuggets are currently third in the West right now. The number one seed wins the college football playoff this year. Same thing happened. Michigan won, number one seed. Wow. Two undefeated teams played in the college football playoffs. They're both undefeated? Same thing this year. Oh, I think, Lord. what was it, Michigan and uh, Washington. Oh, my. Yo. Joel Embiid has surgery to repair his left hand. No, no, it's not the left hand. No, he has surgery to pre- repair his left knee. So, and, he was and the Panthers fire coach Ron Rivera after a loss, and the Commanders fire Ron Rivera after they lost. So, and basically, in March in 2020, that's when the whole pandemic started. Oh, it's lit. It's up. Niggas is excited for this shit. I'm not yeah. saying that's what's going to happen, <laughs> but I'm saying, hey. Now we're about to go to war or something. But imagine so, something having, bad happens. The 2020 was a great year. I played so much video games. I know. That's all I did. It might be this year. Something might happen. Who knows? Damn. Bro. There was a there was a guy right that uh, I think it was like a very famous journalist went over to um, Russia to do an interview with Putin, the first person, first time, and they were, during war he did a whole interview and like you can't find it anywhere. He did that in twenty twenty. No, he did that this year. Oh, and he he did no, an interview. You can't find his interview. You can't find it. every time you do it. It's always like it's like blocked and stuff. And he's basically saying that the grid, like they were saying, like yo, the grid going down, bro, like the the power grid. So. I'm not saying I'm predicting the future, but I'm saying I see I, I see the world in a lot of coincidences. Hmm. I don't know, bro. Like, hey, maybe we are living in a simulation. I, I thought know. this year would be 2016. What? Like, good-wise? Yeah, 2016 was obviously the best year to ever live. And then... Is, was it really, though? I think 2019 was a good year. No, nah, 2016 wasn't better. All summer 16. That's when Drake came out with that banger. I don't know. I had a, I had a good year 2019. That was a great year. That was a great... 2019 was a good year. That was your freshman year. Yeah. That was a good year. That was freshman right before, the, right before the, the, the pandemic started, yeah. Freshman and then beginning of sophomore, yeah. Yeah. But you was, don't think... Think uh, about 2016. Think of 2016. I 2016, think, I, you I, were grinding basketball, having fun, eating ice cream. <laughs> you were having a blast. I just think of no, me ice cream. You, you were definitely <laughs> eating ice cream. Wait guess, wait, guess what flavor is? You weird. You, I'm not going to lie. You definitely eating like a smooth vanilla... <laughs> Maybe even a strawberry. <laughs> like, he, like, <laughs> like he was definitely enjoying a strawberry. From ice cream. where? From Carvel. <laughs> right, it's right down the block. It's right there. Okay, definitely. Is, I tell you, this is a loop, bro. He was hooping. I'm wow. 2016. 2016 was a great year. It was pure basketball. <laughs> oh yeah, that was 2016. Was going stupid. Like, 29 and six. That's crazy work. I'm saying. How, how my own uncle spelled my name wrong? No crazy way. work. What he spelled Darius wrong? He spelled Darius. It's crazy, Uncle Ron, if you're watching this. You're mid. So crazy. My <laughs> mom's watching this, too. So she's going to know that. But then, um, and then the year before that, I think t- 2008, we were young, but it was such a great year as well. Uh, I wouldn't I mind it. 2008, and I immediately hear, like, flashing lights from Kanye West while I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I can, I can, I can see that. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that, that was peak, one of the peaks of, like, cartoons, too. And, the- and they're eight years apart. Now it's 2024. So you thought this was going to be that year? It might, it's still it still going. It's yeah, going to be that be. year. Gotta be, gotta bro. Be. God willing. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know if time looping or if we in a sim, bro. I always, I always talk about simulations, bro. I don't think we live in a simulation, but I feel like in a way, it's a way where you can control it as in like manifestation. No, nah, I, I, I dead ass believe that if you, if you think like no cap, if, <laughs> if I say like, you know what, bro, you know, time out, story time. Mm-hmm. If okay. I say something's gonna happen, yeah, in turn, this is gonna sound like I spice shit, like sacrifice, sacrificial shit, yeah. But like, it's gonna happen. It always happens. So, for example, uh huh, <laughs> he's about to cook me. Oh <laughs> shit! When I was in my senior year, yeah, this is around the time I wasn't getting no bitches. <laughs> I was getting no play. I was like, you know what, bro? I'm like, what if I got hurt? You know what I'm saying? And I was hurt. Maybe the girls started talking to me, bro. Like me. like a maybe a girl ink? specific you like, know what I'm talking about yeah uh, yeah Mari we could believe it but yeah wow, <laughs> I think it's just I was outing like, I was like dang 
if I get hurt, maybe maybe girls start talking to me, right? All right, cool. Yeah. Like, but I don't want it to be too hurt. So how about it's an injury that I'm just out for the whole preseason and then feel me, I get to chill with her during why. therapy. Wow. And then I come back for the season. This is crazy work. I'm not gonna I literally it. the whole thing I read out in my written out in my head. So then it happened. And I said, I'm gonna come back before the first game, I'll be able to play, I'll be good. Literally the whole thing happened. Literally like a week later in practice, with literally with Coach Ron, I was having a kit like I was having a killer. I had the most bounce in my life at that time. Like <laughs> and then literally I went for like to go go for a dunk literally on uh three on two, two on one. Yeah. And rolled the fuck out my ankle. Grade three ankle sprain. Really? It was done. October wow. 18th. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas spoken into existence. Yeah. And then from that point, I was doing rehab in the trainer's office with the girl also. Yeah. And then I wasn't going to practice no more. I was literally going out to eat, going to football games, just chilling. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, bro. That shit like that. I'm saying, happening. people, you can, you can create your life however you want it to be. You just got to believe it. Well, no, multiple things like that. Like, I'm saying shit like that happens all the time. Like, I literally say, I think it was, oh, damn, they was about to cook me again. I hope none of my teammates watch this shit. No cap. I said, last year I said, man, I want to make the playoffs. I want to do good, but, <laughs> like, I want to hoop. <laughs> I said, you know what, bro? I could, I wouldn't mind. I literally was saying it. Like, I said it to myself one night before I went to sleep. I said, I could go to sleep. I said, you know what? I don't mind if I just average like nine, ten points a game, but I'm balling. <laughs> have a couple fifteen, have a twenty point game. You know what I'm saying? I literally said all this shit. Literally, I was like, I don't care. We don't have to win that many games for real. <laughs> as long, I said as long as I'm having fun, <laughs> and I had a blast. This nigga's an asshole. We won six games. <laughs> I had a blast, and I was like, I'm like, I gotta get an award at the end of the banquet though. Got an award. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey. Literally, whole shit. Happened. Everybody speak everything you want into existence. But Living you gotta proof. really believe it. Cause I was like, that seems like a good plan and went to sleep. <laughs> Woke up the next day, started losing. <laughs> we got blown out by 50 by Keensey. <laughs> I had 17 though. <laughs> That's what I, was I was having a good season. The roster, nah. Yeah, sick world we live in, bro. You see this? I hope I, I would tell you something. I I'll shit. tell you something, but I can't say it on the pod because it's really wild. <laughs> And it's, I feel so bad what to this that? day. I feel like I'm like a freaking sorcerer, my nigga. It's crazy <laughs> work. <laughs> nah, you're okay. That's so bad. But what, I, I, what is it about? It's about people, somebody we know. So Damn. I'm, I'm going to put a reminder. Free the guys. Yeah. <laughs> it, yo, free him so bad. I feel so bad. I literally, yo, I'll, I'll make, one day I'll tell him. Anyone of Darius' homies was going through something, I promise you Darius did it, bro. I, I t- nah. Blame Darius, bro. But I don't know. I'll tell him one day. That's, that's, I'm going to tell him one day. But... I got to, I got to, so, nah, I was, when I seen that, I'm like thinking like, nah, there's no way that, because I, I, bro, I look at life as like patterns. Mm. Like I see a lot of patterns and shit, like patterns with the, with like friends, patterns with like how my life going. And I feel like that has something to do with some shit. I don't know if that's a coincidence. Like I I see a lot of coincidences. I think it's fact. (sighs) Like, cause think about it. Like. The reason, like, I asked um, Mr. Darty in middle school. I yeah. was like, yo, why do we study history? Like, uh-huh. obviously, you want to know the shit that happened in the past. But, like, I'm like, why do we study it so extensively? And then he was like, history repeats itself, brother. Ooh. He said, history always repeats itself. So, we study what happened in the past. And then he correlated, like, the Egyptian period to yeah. um, World War II, like, that time. Yeah. From, like, the 1900s. Ooh, shout out Mr. Darty, bro. Then he, he correlated... um What's it called? During the eighteen hundreds, the wars going on in Europe yeah. to what happened in well, um in America. Or no, World War One and Two and all that yeah, shit. Yeah. Then he, he he was correlating he's like, All these things are parallels, like the way that leaders move and everything happens. Like you know, in a short term, we go through a recession, we go we get we go into a war, yeah, we go to war, get out the recession, we have a boom period, mm-hmm. then we go back into recession and it keeps going like that. Like a cycle. Like it happened with uh World War Two, we went to recession. Got out the recession by joining the war. We started creating metal, all that stuff. Came out the recession. Yeah. And then we're in a boom period with money. Then happened again with oil in the Middle East. When, uh, recession. We went, yeah. Then we went to Afghanistan. Twin Towers. We yeah. went. Same shit. Wow. Yeah. Dang. So. And guess it, what? We we just in recession. We did. We just in recession. I know. So it's it's adding up to. And I, I don't know. I'm seeing hella war propaganda. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Yo, how many? Side note. Have you been getting like 
different angles of uh, the Twin Towers, like, on your feet, or I'm just bugging? What do you mean? Like, uh, like how it collapsed? No, like, the plane, like, live footage of the plane hitting one On the what, Twitter? Nope, on Instagram. Reels. No, I get. I see it on Twitter. My Twitter is fucked right now. I get, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I got hella, like, beheadings and... What? And murders. No, nah, you're... I got, like, Chirac... Chirac shooting you're, drive-bys. It's you're crazy. Work. Nah, my Reels is horrible. Like... Different angle every day of the plane hitting the tower. That's cr- I see at least five people die on Instagram every day. Oh, yeah, no, nah, it's just it's like so somebody bad. getting hit by a car. Why is that, bro? It's so bad. Like, I feel like, yo, you think, like, I got an, I got another thing, yeah, to talk about with you. Another theory that I, I seen on the internet and I don't believe it's true, mm. but it's kind of scary to think it could be true. Mm. All right, so it's called there's a theory that the world that we live on, like Earth is a prison planet for humans mm. and that there are higher either extraterrestrial interdimensional entities or beings that are using us as like harvesting us like our souls and that's why they're keeping us here like prisoner and like you know how we harvest like honey bees for their honey yeah, yeah. they're harvesting us for our souls and that's why all these things around us happen because it's built up to I'll take like the emotions of our so yeah. Like that so sure. let me let me further explain it, right? So basically, the whole gist gist of this came from like a uh, ecolog- ecologist, whatever. Yeah, he uh, thought that he made a theory that humans aren't made for this planet, okay. and it's very weird. So and it kind of does make sense because you got to think about it. A lot of the things that happen to us, like we, we're not fucking made for like that. it's like we don't have any natural. Remedy like natural we're what not really makes us made for the planet is our brain, but exactly. Yeah, but it's like we need to create things to help us adapt to our planet, which mm-hmm. is the animals, sicknesses, mm-hmm. and just like the climate in general. If you think about it, right? That's true. When animals are born, they can literally walk within seconds. And they can they're within a year or two, they're able to live on their own for most species, except yeah, like yeah. Wolfpack. Yeah. For us, it takes us 18 years to literally Get up and do things on our own. If you want to be, if you want to be completely yeah, honest, nah, it, takes us, it takes us eighteen years. Start functioning and, shit. and it's like, it's like we always like the sun is not good for our skin. The sun is very bad for us. No, we Gucci like us. You know, yeah, melanin. You know, but black yeah, people, shit. but like but yeah, most yeah, people yeah. type shit. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. pretty bad. Yeah. But if you look at animals, they don't really got a problem with that. And then and not even it's not even a thought. Like, it's not even a thought, they bro. Just, yeah, they, thought. they get you don't see no animals getting sick or cancer. It's always us that's always getting yeah. sick. Oh, just, yeah. And they always feed us these medicines to help us out, but really, it might be hurting I us. Think yeah, I think they literally... Make keep, it worse. Keep, keep you getting cancer and shit. So, basically, right, what, what they're saying is that there's beings that are harvesting us for our energy and our souls in this way, shape, or form. So, think about it like this, right? So, what are the five emotions? Like, anger... It's, happiness, yeah, sadness. anger, happiness, sadness, uh, disgust, and frustration. No, uh, it's anger. joy, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger. Okay, four out of those five are negative things. Oh shit! You never realized that four out of the five are negative things. So what it what they say is that there's something that's harvesting us and making manipulating the world around us to put negative media negative things out there so we can just feel these emotions and then when we die you know when you see that light at the end of the tunnel yeah it's not really like suppo- supposedly it's like you go right back into the cycle it's like you go to the light and now you get sucked right back like prisoner's re- game? like reincarnation you just do the cycle right over like again prisoner's game hey that niggas always be saying damn you know what's crazy you know what suck this what? make a great movie by the way mm-hmm. even if you kill yourself right yeah which i don't you should never do you that. should never do that but you're just gonna be in the same situation. Exactly again. the same situation, and you just think about it, bro. Everything that we go through, there's wars, uh, inflation, recession, depression, Great Depression, things of that nature. Everything the news that they feed us is all negative news, just to make Damn. us, you know, build up. I guess think of that. your body. As, they say I remember Joe Rogan said this. Think of your body as like a rental car. Okay. But they don't, or, or like a capsule. They don't want your body. They want what's inside your body, your soul. That's, facts. That's and like you see all these religions and stuff. All the religions they always have something depicting like a serpent. Yeah, a yeah. serpent reptile. Yeah. They say it's reptile, like 
reptilians. reptilians that, yeah. I don't know about all that. But yeah. in all the, a lot of religions, Aztecs, they have a half human, half reptile, evil god. In mm. Hinduism, Buddhism, they have a, a half human serpent. Adam and Eve, what messing the up the, the snake? Yeah. And what do we correlate with with evil? Snakes. Yeah. So I don't. Snakes. That's what I'm saying, and I don't know if that has anything to do with. It. I don't think it is true, but I remember Nikola Tesla says something. He said, "If you want to find the secrets of the universe, look at the look look at it in terms of energy frequencies and vibrations as the universe." That's what he's saying, as in like, you know, positive energy feeds off of positive energy. Like, if you're positive, more people gonna, are positive. Yeah, it's going to bounce off. Yeah, yeah, And if you're negative, more people are negative. That's you can, why... You can transfer... No cap. Like, you can literally transfer energy, energy, but, like, or just, like, by touching something. So, like, if I'm happy as hell, and I come, like, yo, you good, bro? And smack you on the shoulder. Mm-hmm. Like, you can, you're going to be a little bit more positive. You feel better. Yeah. So, imagine, all the media in the world, they give us all the negative shit. Just brings negativity. Everybody's all negative. Everybody's all stressed out. Everybody's all depressed and shit. Just... Because it's like a farm, my nigga. Just like That's how we do with why bees. They tell you not like okay. Nah, it just hit me. So no, I'm saying That's why it's like, you know, like um like think about before, like with like our parents and shit. Yeah. There wasn't like TVs. Mm-hmm. Like they had TVs, but I'm saying like social media, no phones. Like, yeah, yeah. Cell phones. Like if you want to hang out with your friend, you had to go and knock on his door. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like just like the happy times of like before. Yeah, yeah. All of that. Now we have so much different influences and like technology. Like we have the game, we have the phones, Social all media. the technology, everything. You know what I'm saying? We can literally call each other up and be like, "Yo, I just saw this happen, mm-hmm. and now I'm getting that feed." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, that's. I just different. think it's just I don't know. It's it it was it's a rabbit hole. I don't want to fall down into because I'm gonna start going stupid. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like. You know, there is a lot of negative things in this world that you know that bring people down, yeah. and a lot of people. One way to get away from the negativity, you go to religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. That's what I always say. Like, if you're in trouble, read your Bible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Say, yeah. So, I feel like in those, in certain ways, they're, they are feeding us negativity for some odd reason. Like well, I, I, I was going to say, I believe we could beat it, though. Of course. Yeah. 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 Like, it's, it's like, the majority of people are obviously going to be negative and have negative effects on them. But I feel like you can, literally, if you just, like... All right, no, I I'm not going to be the negative person. Mm-hmm. And whatever you want to read a book, watch it, watch something positive, like your favorite show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's why, like, you see a lot of positive people on like TV, like streamers and shit like that. Yeah, like some of them get shut down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because all right, you're being positive, but you, you know, whether if you are into religion, stepping into that and like reading your Bible. Yeah, then it would definitely change. I feel like that's the easiest way to beat you it. You should, people. That's a yeah. good way to you know. Shout out for the kids, bro. Yeah, the younger viewers. Go pick up one. You gotta learn a lot. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I feel like, like, like you said before, back then mm-hmm. a lot of people were more happier back then without the technology. But I feel like when technology started booming, niggas started getting like less, less happy, and getting more depression, and getting mm-hmm. more like anxious and shit. Like you see, like, like we was talking about earlier. You seen them new fucking headphones that came out with the, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the the Apple shits? The, not the overhead ones. Yeah, the the I forgot the, the, the Apple the, goggles. The, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I, love those. I see, bro. Them shits is crazy. I seen that shit in store. I wanted to try it out, but you you can't How much like they touch close? like thirty thirty five hundred. <sighs> but you can put on your plan though. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. But I, yo, does that? Scare? I give it give it ten years. It's gonna be as price of AirPods. I remember when AirPods first came out while we were in high school. Yeah. Like nobody had it. Like if you yeah. had it, like one person had it, like you're rich. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Now. Only like the, if you don't have AirPods, you're, you're a broke, nigga. freaking loser. Yeah. And I'm about to press you. Yeah, you be using wired headphones still, bro. I'm on you, bro. Nah, no, Jay got me some new AirPods. Oh, you got, okay. Yeah, Jay got <laughs> me some new AirPods. Yep, shout out, <laughs> Jay. You be wearing them. Nah, but, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm about to leave. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Undoing his wires and shit. Nah, like, I only had that for a couple months, bro. No, like, he's trying to cook me. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, bro. And it's like, oh, so I feel like I, I don't really like all this new technology, bro. It's kind of creeped me out. Nah. Like, what do you what do you think will happen first, in your opinion? Mm-hmm. A robot apocalypse or a zombie apocalypse? What now, do you think robot, 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 robot. I'm about to go in. Now, nah, robots, 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 You think robots, so? Robots, robots. I'm seeing two, one for one. Yeah. Right now. I'm Like, I do my work, but AI can yeah. literally get a master's degree. Yeah. So, that's one. Two, they're, like, making AIs that are capable of... So, first, side note. You know my boy Eli. Yeah, yeah. He does program. He's uh doing coding, coding in for that's his degree or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. He said he made an app and it took him like 
he would like he said like one eighth of the time it would normally take him. Yeah. But because he had AI, he literally just putting in, you know, the, you know, algorithms he knows, yeah, shit? putting in like little things and it created the full algorithm for creating like all the code, everything. It made it so much quicker. And then he was able to make it, upload it. And he did, he only put in like an hour a day. He had it done in like two weeks. Like it was, it was really not even an hour, bro. Like he, he said when he was bored, he would just do it. Go, boom. And he has a fluent app now. Like then there's that. Then there's, um. On top of that, like they have AIs that are like robots, like models, yeah, that are able to like, you know, they're fill sensors and stuff like that, and uh -huh. then they're putting AI into it. So like, there was a um a video I saw. It was like an AI robot, and it had fill sensors on his hands and his face. Yeah. So they were like doing an experiment, like touching his face, and it was like swiping away. Oh, cause he could feel that. Yeah. And nah, it was, like, that's not you know good. What I'm saying? Yeah, and then not only that, you can have a. Ev they got how if it's that fluent that you have an AI on Instagram, AI on Snapchat that you can have a conversation with. Yeah, like if you give that to a kid, they're gonna be fooled. Oh yeah, they probably gonna think that's a real person. That's they're gonna not be good. fooled. But think about how powerful real AI, like I'm talking like the top notch AIs are. Oh, like the niggas in the government that got that. shit? Yeah, like they, now those AIs are like having a conversation, but saying shit you didn't think they was gonna say. Like it sound like you. That's what you I'm saying. Me? That's what now. I keep pumping that with data. And now put it into something that can move. And then if this is the this is the fuck up, right? Yeah. I might be giving the keys to like an evil villain right now. Oh yeah. But like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. I'm t Doofenshmirtz, evil incorporated. Right I'm saying like <laughs> it's, so look, you take that powerful AI, yeah, and you give it the ability to interact with other AI or the ability to code. Like just I have an AI bot, whatever the case is, mm -hmm. right? It has free range on the internet. Yeah. Oh. So that AI is an independent AI. It can access ChatGPT. It can access all this stuff. Oh. Give it two days. Now it can have ChatGPT create. So like, say that AI doesn't know how to how to make another robot. Mm -hmm. It's only going to take it because what stops us humans is like boredom, will, and like laziness. how much laziness. So yeah. like, if you're doing schoolwork for two hours, you're going to be like, I need a little mental break. So you take 15 minutes, come back and do your schoolwork. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. AIs, no, I want to build a robot. And it's not going to stop. It's not. Give it one day, it's going to know the perfect engineering model on how to make that robot. Now it can make that. Now it can teach itself how to make... I use AI to help me study for a class. Now AI is about to use that to... You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so bad. And it's about... I'm t Yo, give it... I'm telling you, give it like 10 years, it's going to be like... Really bad. There's going to be laws on AI. Like It has to be. Because you got to think like, about it, right? Imagine, right? You, ever, you remember um, you remember Planet of the Apes? Yeah. How, how that how all that shit started? Yeah, yeah one yeah. guy had a monkey. Yeah, imagine a, one guy has a robot, right? He don't say none. He don't say none. He's just chilling with the robot. He's doing his chores, doing everything in the crib, and now that shit's like you know I'm tired of this shit, bro. I'm tired of this. Let one robot. It's like I robot. Let one robot get the the tools necessary to be able to just be able to get into a military. Get one tank. You know this is this how it's gonna go out though. One. I'll give it. If I think I do think robot apocalypse is is on the verge now, but I feel like this is how it's gonna start. We're gonna start using them in the military first, and then it's gonna backfire. Yeah. Because I feel like they're trying not to. Yeah, they're trying their hard. Like, I feel ah, like they we could can save lives. Like you can have an AI drone ship immediately. Yeah, like you can. You got fly, you have self driving cars. You can have a self flying. Uh, and once drone. they put morals into AI, so there's like AIs they put like rights and wrongs. Yeah. Once you put like this is a right decision, this is a wrong decision. That's when we fucked up. Like it's ethic. Once you put ethics into an AI, now it's basically a person. Yeah, it's really a person. Because I can tell you that I think you know um, basketball is a bad sport. You tell me I think it's a great sport. Yeah. If I'm the AI and I want to cancel all basketball leagues, right? Mm -hmm. You could, I, you know what I'm saying? So you put its own ethics into it, and now uh, that's where yeah, it's. That's cool. Telling you, bro. And it I might be both at the same time now. Zombie and robot apocalypse, though. I think zombie too, but like with AI, I remember I was I've seen a story. Mm. Um, have you ever heard of what's this company's name? It's a, uh, it's called Lockheed Martin. You ever heard of what Lockheed Martin is? Nah. So Lockheed Martin is the main manufacturer for missiles, weapons in America. Missiles, weapons, oh. all aircrafts, Damn. all that shit. So they're they are. The company that gives the government all our weapons. Okay. They're supposedly saying that there was a whistleblower that came out and said and told, like, I think a government official saying that Lockheed Martin has, like, a special group of, like, 
it has its own like military, mm-hmm. like secret military where they go out and retrieve like some supposedly crash UFOs. And what they do is they use the crash UFOs or they go to wherever the UFO sites is. They go over there, they crash it, they'll take it, and then they re-engineer it to yeah. make their own shit. Now, what's also crazy is that this is all hypothetically, like, there's no proof of it, but there's one person saying it. What's also crazy is that the government don't know about it because they're afraid that if the government takes it, they're going to gonna start, running start a ro- they're, they will start the robot apocalypse because mm-hmm. that would be crazy. So what they do is they keep it secret from the government. So they have their own military uh, division, all that, that goes out and retrieves this stuff. Yeah. And they also retrieve their own hovercrafts that they like might have crashed. Right. So imagine you see some shit in the air. You might think it's an alien, but it might be a nigga like me and you flying that bitch, and they just crashed it like some dumb shit. And it was try, yeah, it's experiment. So imagine, so if we can do, if like if we're able to, right? They're giving us these little headphones that we can like make our own reality out of. Like Apple's doing that. Max. Imagine the best, uh, mil- the best uh company that makes our weapons. What type of resource they have, and what are they cooking up in that motherfucker? Trust me, they're, yeah, they're, they're like always thirty years ahead of us. At least, yeah, at least thirty. My years brother ahead. was telling me because um, when he was in the air force, he was like, their mass that they put on in the aircraft yeah. since like back in two thousand and seven and shit mm-hmm. was already like that shit. Really? Like when you're in the cockpit, it's a clear window, but when it goes in, now all the lines and all the stuff you see in games and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's like live, so like when you're in it, you look down below you. There's nothing there. Oh. So you're not seeing the handle. You're not seeing the stuff below you when you have that thing on. Really? Yeah, when they're in jets. Like, look that, at that, like, that helmet? Yeah, when they put the thing on and all that. Yeah. And they're in a and they're in a jet. Like they can look they can that's why like you ever see like you know, you see a jet and then like you know, they'll know what's some oh, there's a jet below me. There's a jet really? behind me. I didn't know that they because could... it becomes clear because there's there's little cameras and stuff all over the jet. Oh so, and it portrays it, and that's why it costs the jets cost almost money. It's not because of the engine and shit. It's because of the technology in it. Oh, I didn't even know they had that. And that's, that's also crazy. why whenever they crash a jet and stuff, they always like, say a jet crashes or whatever in the war. Yeah. They always like, they're supposed to destroy. Oh, their, because they don't want the people getting, getting the technology. technology. Yeah, exactly. And, and re-engineering. Wow, that's so like, crazy. But yeah, so like they can see like, you, they can turn around behind him and be like, all right, he's behind me. All right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Start to get crazy. They're like that. They, but they've been had that. And now we getting it. That was in 2007. Yeah, this is way back. Like I'm oh, saying. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's so crazy. So now, yeah, now they're, yeah. Oh, like, nah, they can, we're yeah. fucking. Imagine what we got now. Bruh. Oh, that's crazy work. Iron Man out here, cuz. Hey, I'm saying. I, if I'm a billionaire, I'll be, I have an Iron Man suit. It shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> that, that, yeah. It couldn't be that hard. But yeah, that's my now, I, now I have an argument for the zombies. Okay. Right? Okay. So, now, what if I tell you, Remember in 2012, that whole zombie incident started going around in Florida where the man ate somebody's face? Yeah. And it, supposedly he was on bath salts? I was lit for that, but yeah. What do you mean he was lit for that? I wanted that shit to run up. Oh, this nigga is sick. I wasn't ready back then, but yeah. now I'm ready. Now you ready? Yeah. <laughs> so what if I tell you that whole incident, that 2012 zombie incident, mm-hmm. was a they covered it up because it's not really what we all thought it was. Mm-hmm. So, right? <laughs> it's crazy. So, so, so you know the whole story. A man in 2012 was butt-ass naked running through the streets of Florida and he found a homeless man and he started eating his face. Yeah, eating his face, yeah. And this not even, that's not even the first account. There was another guy. It happened to another yeah, person. they said he was on bath salts. Yeah, he was, he was on bath salts, yeah. right? So supposedly, they did an autopsy. There was no bath salts in the system. Gee. It was just marijuana. And ever since they found that out, they just shoved it under the rug because they... What are you going to tell the people? We, we've been said his bath salts. That nigga was just high. Because you know what? <laughs> nah, bro. He was a dad. He was a dad. I imagine. Nah, that's crazy weed. Nigga's off of... Nah, that's not... Because you know what bath salts do to you, right? They said they make you like a superhuman. Yeah, they make you dumb, strong. They make you dumb, For, strong, and aggressive. Forget you have limits. Yes, but it's like, he didn't have that shit in his system, so like, what the fuck was he on? So, supposedly, right, there are scientists that's trying to create, that's trying to bring people back to life in war. So say when you say when you get shot in war and you get like you, you know like uh not when you die but it's like you're bleeding out. Yeah. They'll pump like something into your blood that can suffice for that. So. Yeah, it's not really like it won't heal you on the spot, but it will like sedate you for like 3 hours. Like you'll go cold but you'll still be living right. just so they can bring you to the doctor so they can fix you. So they did, so they made this specifically for war. So it's literally you pump it into your system. It's like a a type of chemical into your blood. And it freezes, I think it like freezes or like holds your blood or something. So you don't, you stop losing blood. Mm-hmm. So now, but you're like unconscious now. And, but you're still alive. 
So yeah. now they bring you back, and then they um that's when they do all the tests and stuff, and then after yeah. three hours, then you'll be yeah. good again. So they started testing out on dogs, and it worked. Like they were able to bring dogs back to life. Like they would, they would like shock their hearts, stop their hearts, and then they'll pump it in, and then after three hours, they'll revive them again, and they'll come back to life. But the side effects were that they became very aggressive and very like dangerous. Like they had to put some of the dogs down because they was really trying to attack people. So now, I think recently in like 2000... And he was naked. Yo, he was butt-ass naked. So that... Nigga... Damn. Ah, I can't... I'm itchy. I <laughs> the shit off. Yeah. In 2010, I think they made it... Uh, They made like a... They passed something where they can now test it on humans. And they were testing in the University of Miami. And what they do is... Oh, not Miami. Maryland. Right. So what they did was they... um. They got the patients that like had gunshot wounds yeah. and they were like on the brink of dying. Like they were in cardiac arrest, shit like that. Yeah. And they would try it out on them because like, but like, they about to die. They about to die. So yeah. like, they, and they didn't give them, they didn't even ask them because they're already, they're like in a coma and shit. So they're yeah. like, you know what? Fuck it. Might as well try it. Like yeah. they about to die and they're shit. If it doesn't work, they're dead anyways. So yeah. what yeah. if some nigga in Florida tried it out? The nigga came back to life. The first nigga came back to life. Like, oh, shit. He's back to life. This, that, and third. Start. Nigga started going crazy. Like, eating I'm talking about. Up. He started eating niggas. Bro, nigga ate Whoa. half his face, bro. I feel like. What happened to the homeless nigga? He died? Nah, he's still alive, but he got no. Like, he. I think he has, like, half, like, 80% of his face is gone. He was already homeless, gang. I know. That sucks. Like, if Imagine your life wasn't hard already, you. Now, <laughs> nigga, random nigga, like, you on the street and a random nigga, nigga walk said, up to you, like, I'm hungry. And he just started. Biting, biting like, your that's face, max. bro. I go, that's Max. Nigga. Ah, that's a that's a hard life for a homeless nigga, bro. But I'm saying if it's if it's a zombie apocalypse, I don't, I feel like we're like I said, I think we're more closer to robot than zombie. But if it's I zombie, think we're to robot, I feel like it would be I don't think it it would either be like a like a sickness or some shit like that. I was gonna say both. The reason why I said both because AI starts getting crazy and they're like, all right, let's just get rid of humans, like <sighs> right? Yeah. Release a virus. Imagine. Just release it. They can honestly work better than And it than won't us. affect the robots. It yeah. won't. Bro, honestly. So now we're fighting two things and we can't do that. That would be so shitty. Yeah, I just dropped the plan. Nah, that's crazy work. That's <laughs> <what> <laughs> <I got laughs> 2024. That's crazy work. Oh, <laughs> uh, nah, but I was thinking about that the other day because I was watching, um, what was I watching? I was watching Pacific Rim. And I was thinking about like monsters. I was like, damn, imagine that shit happen now. We'd be fucked. There's no way we're making no fucking robots and shit. But if those robots, if we if robots were fucking um, like if we can get the to the technology where we could make those robots, that'd be fucking crazy as hell. Yeah. But I don't know. There's a lot of shit that's been going on in the world, bro. You seen the shit with the the telescope, bro? What? That niggas said they found lights on another planet. I'm tripping right now. Not tripping, but I'm like, damn. Niggas are zooted off the shit, bro. This is crazy. But you said lights on another planet, bro. There's a I think there's like a planet that's like seven trillion miles away or whatever. But it's like that nigga's deep. But like, <laughs> but it's like one point two like light years. That's not that far. Suppose that's like that's like equivalent from like here to like my backyard. If I'm sitting here, that's my backyard. That's where they're at. They said there's a planet it's called like Proxima B, and they have like, like you they put like a telescope out in the um in the galaxy so they could take pictures of shit. And they said there's like a planet that like shows like light and shit. Hmm. So imagine my nigga, and supposedly that telescope is able to like scan for. Um, heat signatures, or something? not heat signatures, but it's like there's a particular molecule that comes off of uh, living organisms, and that telescope could scan like galaxies and scan like different planets Bro, to see if they have it. War gang, and no, 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 like in space with what? Remember I told you about the space force gang? Dang, that space force shit ain't some bull. Ain't Bruh, no way. Look up space force. Bro. I everybody did look it up. Everybody nigga. forgets. Bro, we everybody... have a space division. Military branch mm-hmm. is the space force. I know, but they're saying it's like they just they are their their main job is to, uh, what's it called, uh, look after the satellites. Oh right, that's what they say. It was called space force. Why is it called space force? Though? No, I'm telling you, bro, it's military and space, bro. We're they're doing more than that, bro. Who who started this again? Donald. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. So he started the space the force. So what is the what is the main purpose of space force? I I think it's for us to get ready to fight wars in space. Like if we're fighting. Russia, yeah, right, and we want to go from a different angle. We can come from space. One, that's cheese. That is su- super cheese, right? Like yeah. what the fuck, niggas come from above. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> directly down. But then also, um, like a laser. Like we, like you know, 
property like say you're on the moon or space stations and like you know what i'm saying Ooh, shit like that low key maybe for earth defense as like meteors and shit i was gonna say that's part of it but then also i think like they so he made the space force and then conveniently a year later now they said yeah aliens are real by the way mm. that's when they released the document saying aliens are real and then just let it sit there they didn't really push it they just said hey they're out now, now we know aliens are real, but we also have a space military, Ooh. and now we're getting our space military ready, and we're putting mad bread into it. I'm saying, bro, they're scanning the galaxies for or they're for living life. Bro, we better stop playing for niggas come over here. And they, yo, they found you know they found some shit. They said, but they said it's further though. It's like 120 uh, light years away. They found what? they found uh, they found pr- not proof, but like traces of living extraterrestrial life, like 120 trillion like miles or uh, light years in the galaxy because there's a certain molecule like i was talking about that only living organisms organisms on earth produce. give off produce right. and they found it somewhere in space deep space so i'm saying if niggas is fighting the war i'm not in that I'm one in nah this nigga's fucking crazy he's gonna be the first nigga dead <laughs> now nah, you know you might scare niggas though these little motherfuckers they be like yo you you are big nah they gonna put me in the front they gonna look at you we got big guys they are gonna look at you like like if Dude. we go to, if we go on like a alien world and we go like like Avatar, <laughs> look at this nigga like an Avatar and shit. Big. Yeah, nah, like yo, this big. especially them niggas like what three feet tall? They'll definitely look at you like Avatar what? nigga. Like aliens? Yeah, they're like three feet. Yeah, but I don't want to be like yo, what's up? Like I don't want to be greeting them. You gonna blast them? Nah, I don't want to be like hey, uh, I'm the guy. <laughs> yo, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to be that guy. I don't be the guy in the back like once we already figured out what we're doing here. <laughs> that's sick, bro. Then we pull out, yeah. But hey, man, if that's the case with Space Force, that's crazy work. Imagine doing secret bro. missions. Join Space Force. Uh, I'm not joining that shit, bro. <laughs> so is that part of NASA? Nah. It's not? It's a military gang. It's a military? It's the military. Like the military. The United States military. Like as in like Air Space Force. Space Force branch. Yes. Wow. Air Force, Navy, Marines. Army, Space Force. So are they technically astronauts? No. They're space, military. Space cadets. Space. Nah. Yo, no they, fucking way. Nah. I don't think they out there fighting, but they might be pre- they might be preparing. You, I looked I looked all this shit up, the Space Force rankings. I forgot. Air Guard. Air Guard? No, that's Air Force, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm about to say, nigga. What yeah, the fuck? The same thing. That's crazy work, bro. Uh Special Force. Specialist one, two, three, four, Space Force ranks, NCO, Sergeant, Technical. They have literally every fucking rank in the Space Force. Yeah, they're they're geeked up. And they and this was literally created what, like maybe two years ago? Possibly? Master Sergeant. Yeah, Chief Master Sergeant. How long ago was this made? Spaceman. You know how they're seamen? You said seamen? Navy. Navy people and seamen. Oh, like the yeah. yeah. You're free. Nigga, Bro. you free said the shit. <laughs> spaceman. Spaceman. Say, no, I don't know if it's spaceman or not, bro. Hey, man. Colonel. Whatever they fighting out there. There's a general. There is a Space Force general. What's his name? Out him right I now. I don't know. <laughs> out him right now. Whoever's watching this shit, go, you know who's in charge of if shit goes left. Lieutenant general. Major general. Brigadier. Br- Brigadier. What? No, cause yeah, look at this is what the space force motherfuckers be wearing. This is just this is the fuck is that? That should like the shit from um, Star Trek, bro. Bro, what's going on here? Hey man, maybe they are fighting some shit or they're preparing to fight some shit. They're called guardians. They're called guardians. That's actually kind of cheese. That's actually hard. I might want to. I would love to be a guardian. That's tough. Guardian of the world. You're literally a guardian of the galaxy, low key. Your high key guardian of the yeah, galaxy. Yo. If if they make it that far, yeah. <laughs> if they make it that far. Nah, we the only life forms. Nah, so, nah no I don't know. Nah, I said, nah, nah, nah. Like even like I don't know. I don't know if this is real, but I seen some shit with NASA. Like they have there's like a secret like not secret, but like you know NASA like space logs and shit. Yeah. So there's one with doctors, and I guess they wrote diaries about how when astronauts came back from space, they had like these weird injuries. Some of them had scratch marks. Some of them had these weird sicknesses, but a lot of them they were talking about like it's because they breathe up the the moon rocks, and it's supposedly not like dust. It's like shards of glass. So they come back. They all have like the same sickness, like respiratory problems. But I don't know. Like they like niggas were saying like they had like 
like real injuries, like niggas got attacked or some shit. But I don't think that's cur- I think that's a stretch. That would be fucking wild, bro. I think that's what I think that's when the conspiracy niggas is starting to. I'm not a cons- we're not conspiracy niggas. I just like telling stories on Jason, the podcast. We are not conspiracy niggas. So all y'all niggas that be that be meat munching in the pocket on the in the comments that be saying like, oh these those, these those guys that are uh, what's that called? Oh this is why this is why we should stop podcasting. Nah, we the ones who started this shit. They hate on us. They say they. <laughs> we was the first. We was one of the first ones doing this shit, and now niggas is exploiting it. I don't do all that weird shit, bro. I'm just the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. Do you do you have a story to talk about? Yeah, my, I'm trying to look for my other topics that I put on, but things be losing the topics. I be losing these shits every day. I clean <laughs> up my notes, bro. What's going hey, on? like again, shout out Bottle Joy. Shout out Ease the Pain. Ease that pain, brother. Um, Whatever pain you feeling. I was gonna say. Um, have you heard of the machine? So like, it has the, to do with the, like the Deep South and the machine. Ra- yeah, and racism. No. So I didn't even know about this. Somebody I that I know from Alabama. Mm-hmm. Right, was telling me about it, but um, we home Alabama, and you know Alabama. If you from up here, you hear the word Alabama, you think racism, racism, that's, having racism. sex with your cousins. Yeah, that, happens. That's the first thing that comes up. Right? Yeah, but basically they were talking about um. So the machine is a secret society that was like I guess made in the early 1900s. Um, a secret society. Yeah, like another is called the machine, and it got outed apparently. I didn't do the research on it, but they were telling me about it. Yeah. So, like, it got outed, apparently. And basically, um, it has to do, like, universities, fraternities, um, you know, like, younger groups or anything yeah. like that. Uh-huh. And basically, it's just deep-rooted, like, racism and, like, keeping everything separated and keeping all the power in one area. So, like, with the machine is, like, fraternities that, like, white fraternities. Yeah. And, like, the KKK and neo-Nazis, like, all together so that's what the secret society like all of them coming together and to just, make sure sh- certain things do and don't happen right ooh. now part of the machine too which started to correlate with me i don't know if it was mitt romney or it was one of these um and we do not align with the political party oh yeah we're not but we don't know no politics we don't care about politics but uh i remember they're on the republican side and they were from like kentucky or something yeah and they were like fighting super heavy for like I think, you know, gay people shouldn't be married. I think, like, all this stuff that, like, isn't acceptable. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And going very heavily on it. Mm-hmm. And um, they only had the backing of, like, remember we went over the top five racist states? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Those states. Oh. So, like, and then part of it is, like, that's where the, like, machine is being, is running, right? So, they're, so, yeah. So, they're basically, their main thing is just to make sure, like, to so keep things separate. Senators, so, like, think about it, like, they have a politician uh-huh. who's in, right? And he's in Nebraska, right? Yeah. I don't know if Nebraska is a really racist state, but let's go with Nebraska. There's no major city in Nebraska. Yeah. Sorry. But you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. no one's going to Nebraska. You're not getting immigrants going to Nebraska. It's the middle of the country. It costs mm. much money to get there, right? Yeah. Kentucky, all those spots, right? Yeah. You have people who've been living there since, like families and generations and cultures who've been living there for a long time. Like hundreds of years. Yeah, keeping it together. So like now that there's schools and fraternities, everybody's been going there and they're all stuck together. Now putting it together like, all right, we're going to keep this this way. No matter what change comes in, we're going to keep it out. Is it, only, like how, is it only in Alabama? No, like Alabama. Like the southern states. Yeah, southern, like the, the mid, mid-southern, like Alabama, a little bit Louisiana, Kentucky, Missouri, Mississippi, Wow, that's kind of creepy. Those middle spots. And then, like, kind of, like, so think about it. Like, so she was telling me, right? She yeah. was like, um, she grew up in Alabama. She was like, yeah, like, I went to the gas station one time. Mm-hmm. And, like, she just casually, she's white. So she saw, casually just saw a dude with a KKK hood, the full garment, the full full set. What? KKK. Just like, at a walking, gas station? Walking out the gas station. Said, what's up? Cause she's like it was good, and then kept. And they're all low key, like some. No, but like, but I'm saying. So think about that. Uh huh. If you saw somebody with a KKK hood walk out of freaking Wawa over here, he's dead. Yeah. Like he's dead. Uh huh. I'm promise you. I'm driving, and I see two black people squaring up with somebody with a KKK hood on. I'm pulling over, or I'm not even. I'm hitting them with the car. Okay. Yeah. Of course you got to. But I'm saying that's up here in the north. Uh huh. We have a lot, a lot of more. Oh, but so that's why it's like that. That's why down there it's acceptable. Because they make it like that. Yeah, so they keep it... So it's acceptable. So, like, they can do stuff like that. So, like, KKK, like, they have, like, mad rallies and shit like that. And they don't... There's no... 
because there's the po- no like backlash for it because the politicians, the are police in on officers, it. everybody's just like, yeah, bro, like, bro, if then leave. If you don't like it, then leave. Wow, I never you know really thought saying? it like that. So, but it got like outed or something like that. Um, it was on the news and whatnot about like how deep rooted it is. Uh huh. Even though it got outed, it's still going on. Cause you gotta think about it, right? Cause a lot of secret societies, right? They're really just gangs, but with politicians. Yeah, exactly. If you want to be honest, yeah, the power of the politicians. That's it. They're really this yeah. higher version of gangs, like the secret my, society. My uncle was like, cause he drives um, trucks like cross country. Yeah. He was down somewhere. I think he said Mississippi or something like that. Mm-hmm. And he what's it called? He stopped. He's like, all right, rest stop. Pulled yeah. over, he's going to use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. He walked to the bathroom and it had a um, blacks and whites only sign still up. Like fresh. F- still up. It's wow. It's clean. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like a deteriorating. Yeah, like black and white. He didn't even go to the bathroom. He just turned around, got back in the truck and kept it pushing. Wow. Because he saw it, he's like, black and, oh, nah. Like, bruh, it's, this, he told me this in like 2017, 2018. Because I be thinking like, why do some towns, they don't, think about it. If you go to a small ass town in the middle of what's the most Wyoming, yeah, or what's a really? I'm trying. No, nah, I gotta look at the map. You have a map here? No, nah. nah, like a really like out of the way town. In the middle of like Nebraska's really Kansas, good. Kansas is literally in the center. Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas. But yeah, that like map of USA. That's kind of yeah. Nuts. We're a little stupid guys. So just you know, we we're we're in college. You just start for, to forget like certain yeah, things you learned in high school. Geography, yeah. Tennessee, Missouri, Oklahoma. Kansas, Dang. Wyoming, South Dakota. These spots in the middle, think about it. No, if you're an immigrant, like, I'm that's not your main the Caribbean, that's... not, you're not, you're going to go to the border states. Yeah, like on the coast. Because it's cheaper to get a plane ticket there. And on the coast, there's more major cities. Uh huh. Whereas in there, it's like, yo, nah, oh. it's just white people who already been, it's like, they've gener- been grown up there. Yeah, Utah, all the Mormons are over there. Oh, nothing wrong with you Mormons, but. So it's, it's like, it's basically like, they're so far away from everything else that they could do whatever the fuck they want because it's like, yes. who the fuck gonna stop these niggas? Who's gonna stop them? Like, who's pop, gonna everybody's get... in on it. <laughs> wow. Everybody's in on it. Like, you move over there and they're gonna be like, all right, you better learn the rules, buddy. And then, well, you, who, you, you're gonna go to like the police, like a discrimination. They're gonna be like, okay, thanks, and not do nothing about it. Wow. You go to the, the, the court system, go to a judge. They're not gonna do nothing about it. And you said they got outed it. this whole time? It was something about it got outed like in the news talking about how deep rooted the machine was in like uh in Alabama and Kentucky specifically those two states and like it's still That's crazy work, bro. Alabama's is a little true. more a little more uh I guess popular but like Cuz I never realized all the immigrants like mm-hmm. like when you fly in from other countries they all are on the coast. Yeah, they're not going to Montana. They're all like California California. Oregon, Washington, maybe Georgia, May, Georgia, Florida. Yeah, Georgia, Florida. They're all on the coast. Jersey, New York, like all the spent. Like there's so many like Mexican people in California, bro. California, Texas, like they're right by Mexico. You know what I'm saying? All, all the, the borders, but on the inside of the the, the country, there's it's not. So that's why for us, as I said, we're spoiled. Like for us, we grew up extremely like not really that much racism. You know what I'm saying? Because it's diverse, yeah. Yeah, super diverse. We had every ethnic group you could think of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then you go down to one of those states, they don't have no... It's not as ethnic. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. a lot of people who don't see. They're like... For example, like I went to North Carolina in the middle of like the... the Country? The boondocks. And my cousin was like, hold on, you got... You have white friends? I was like, man, what you... Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but like they don't, it's really separated. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and like, that's North Carolina. That's on the but coast. It was the boondocks, but then like you go in, keep going in. You know what I'm saying? It gets worse. Think about worse. It, you know what I'm saying? So now it's even, it gets even. I think I know what their motto is. Because they're tech, look, they're at the heart of the United States. Two, four, six, eight. eight. We don't want to integrate. You... <laughs> that's not what I meant. No. What the fuck? You said their motto. <laughs> Be like, because they're the heart of the United States because they're in the center. Like all those bad, all the white states, they're in the center. Right. So it's like, we are the heart of the United States. So we cannot change what we believe in. I don't know where I'm going with this. The white have, is right. White is right. Nope. That's ah! it. That's, that's it. That keep going. Nah, that's crazy though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that, does that count as a cult? No, right? N- nah. That's not a cult. That's just a because I think a cult, yeah, no, nah, cult is like with like religion and stuff. Yeah, like a belief in like. Yeah, these niggas, they're just they're system. forced. They're actually like doing the it's worst, get, like neo Nazis. Nah, eat a Frank. Yeah, but if you're neo Nazi, but I think that's like a 
gang. I think that's gang, but like, yeah, you saying like the the politicians, everybody's involved. Like they they know. That's crazy work. That's why, like, when it's time to vote, there's mm-hmm. only like, you know, six swing states that alternate. Yeah, they're all on the coast. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The inside is usually red. The outside is usually blue. That's changes so crazy, north bro. and south. Niggas is always dividing this country, man. Fuck everybody. Yeah, bro. Um, you got a question you need to ask, or you want? I want to. I got some. We're going, we're going into the "Would You Rather" segment of the podcast. Yeah, run that, run that. Run so that. I got a couple good "Would You Rather" questions today. So, would you rather all praying mantises in the world be the size of humans, or seventy five percent of the population really, really, like truly down in their guts hates you? Me, like specifically, yes, specifically me? you. Praying mantis is the size of humans. Yeah, so we'll say five, five foot, praying five foot to five ten praying mantises. Praying mantis, me. You're actually insane. I'm gonna get a blick. Do you? That sounds right. like fun. Do, oh, first of all, do you know that praying mantises are actually strong as hell? Like they are like you know the hulks. You know who else is strong as shit? Who? The nigga uh, uh, Shaquille O'Neal. If, a, if Shaq went and up you know against a put pra- that nigga down, who a forty five, bro? Them things are like <laughs> the superhero, the the super soldiers of the insect world. Like you know, and the they ant- eat niggas' heads. Yes, I imagine. Yeah, but like I got if I got a blick, now the military's like we're gonna you know now we're gonna have fences up and shit. Yeah, it's like a war. It's kind of hard. Like that shit. Free no. free bread. I joined the military. Free bread. You and them fucking mil- you, you, We're gonna talk about that after this But Fucking Nah I'd rather have 75% of the population hate me As long as it's not my family Jay The gang We good Yeah but like Your life is Like you're gonna walk into a store And be like You're Darius Aren't you Like <laughs> You're like Yeah yeah Can I just get a soda We don't take your money here <laughs> Monkey Like you know what I'm saying Like <laughs> Like you know what I'm saying Like they're gonna tweak on you And then I was like all right, you move on. You can't hoop. Now nah, you know what? Imagine playing a college basketball game. Well, imagine. I'm, <laughs> yo, I swear to God, you're gonna sub in. Other team is literally gonna try and beat you, and the refs gonna be like, "Yeah, beat us at." But you know what? <laughs> if Jackie Robinson and all these guys could go against go against society, why can't I do it? That's just gonna push me to be the best person I could possibly be. The world is literally against me. Yeah, but like Jackie Robinson could go to like a black community and be all right. <laughs> like you're gonna have black people hate you, bro. <laughs> You're going to go to Jersey City and think you're good and not be. <laughs> like, yeah, like, you're not going to be safe. 75% of the population, that's about maybe there's 8 billion people. That's 6 billion people hate me. Nah, I'm, bro, praying mantises? That's big as... Bro, you can't fight, bro? I could fight, but that's... Nigga, that's you can't shoot? Bro, I could shoot, but there's not... Yo, if they start ganging up on you, imagine a gang of 10. They're done. They they're not like in society though. I don't they're know. In, they have jobs and shit. No, I mean they're just gonna, they're gonna hunt your ass wa- down though. So if they're walking around and shit, there's like you know a government gonna put something in place like all right, this is like the police now carry like real big ARs and they kill men. Bro, I don't want my life to be like that. As lit, like you see police, you're gonna now you're gonna like the police. Police are gonna <laughs> see now you're gonna be like. This nigga, all right, sir. This and nigga he's like, is fucking. Yeah, he's killed two down by the, the creek, so you're good. I just bro, killed two by the high school. Them niggas could, you know what they're gonna do to buildings, bro? They're gonna tear shit down, bro. They could try. What you mean try? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like you, like we, like USA got a crazy military, bro. I'm very pro USA. If you guys could tell. Yeah, yeah, this nigga really wants. Yo, he bro, he dude. tried to convince me to go into the military. It's bad friend. That's don't don't let your friends convince you to go right, into the it's military. It's free bread. Serve your country. It's free bread. Why don't you serve? I am. I am going to. You're going. You're gonna <laughs> go. What are you doing again? Oh, everything. <laughs> this nigga is crazy, <laughs> so bro. I'm telling you, it's free bread. You don't even have to. You don't bread. have to Speak hold your the gun. Case. Speak you, your case. Right, so I'm trying to tell people. Because there, there, are, there are a lot of teenagers that are kind of confused. They might be wanting to go to college. They might want to go to the military. So look. So you could convince if you're them. you're in high school, even better, right? Every army recruiter, every military recruiter is going to tell you, yeah, just sign your normal enlistment. You get your GI Bill. You get all this stuff. You can do that. And nothing against that, right? We need people to play that role. I sound like a recruiter. You do. We need people to play that role. But you can get a career in the military. 
like entry level. You just graduated high school, you can do, you know, geo scanning, which you just literally you go in, you just scan and, you know, recognize threats. You literally are not on the front lines with a gun. <laughs> like we said, if you're not, if you don't want to do that. But you got to qualify for that? Like, like, I'm obviously going to have to take a little, t- you have to take the uh, ASFAB, I think it is. And you have to do good on it, but like, it's, you can do that. What if somebody's know? not a good test taker? Now you just signed up. You're making excuses. <laughs> now you're making excuses. I'm not an excuse maker, all right? So anybody's like, oh, I just suck at taking excuses. I failed the SAT three times. Did you really? Yeah. Wait. 890 high score. Wow, you suck. Type shit. <laughs> How did you get it to Rutgers? Coach Log? Shout out to my nigga Joey. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Joey. 890, my yeah, nigga? Man. That's bad. Cheated on the a- ACT, but um, how the fuck you shout out to Caitlin Cregan, but um, wow, yeah. niggas is crazy. But anyways, freaking um, what was it called? What are the the you go in the military now? You can get a job where you you have to do basic training. I don't want to do basic training, bro. You just gonna be you just gonna be strong and you gonna be in shape. We have a standard yeah. for our military. We have the best military in the world, so we have a standard. But I heard Jason. They said they made him do planks and made him yell. In different frequencies, bro. Like you, they'd be like, "Go higher, go higher, Rob." Ah, so, ah, ah, like you do shit like that, my nigga. Come on, guys. So hold up. You tell me you never done that before. Where? Yeah, Coach Ryan ain't have us planking. He, <laughs> ain't have you planking for eight minutes? He did, but I wasn't yelling like a fucking dog. <laughs> talking about some go higher. So talking about in practice, he ain't have us over here like screaming. Help defense? B time. Like, I don't even know oh, why the fuck. That, what team is this yeah. B team? I don't know. I didn't understand the chant. I just freaking did it. Like, I don't understand, bro. Like. What did that mean? What team is this? B team. What time? <laughs> he B did. time. He literally said we're the worst. I'm like, why are we the B team? <laughs> what are you talking about? We're winning. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. I, that was a bad, that was saying, a bad year. We were screaming and shit. That is true. We do scream before. You've done harder shit, bro. No, I don't think so. I think that's he worse. had us running from freaking, from freaking Hillside High School, all the way down to Weekway Park to his house. Come on, bro. No, nah, I don't think sweating. I'm not doing this though. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, anyways. So you get the benefits, right? Now you serve a contract. You have a career in the military. You can make this career in the military make six figures. Now you can move around to different things. Now you have specialization. You come out the military. So you're like, I don't like it. I did my four years. This is like alternate instead of college. You come out. Now, you can choose to go into... You have vet, vet, veterans preference. You can go into any sector in the government and your priority. Or you can just work in regular private public sector with your background. And now you're clouded. You get free... You get extra loans. You get... Um, there's so much more benefits. You get medical. Is your, it free, you get your free housing? children are taken care of. Health, like health care. Come on, bro. It's, it's too free. And even if you're college, you want to go. You want to go after. So you have a degree, you can. So you're telling me, like people in the military, right? If I want to, like, like, uh, like we have people on the pilot in the military, like Bash and Jason. Mm-hmm. If they want to go into like the FBI, they could do it. Do they have to take a test first and go back and do another thing? Nah, I mean, probably, maybe. Well, he did one contract, right? Jason? He did one contract, yeah. So he has free college right now, right? And then Bash yeah. is. Limping and shit. So yeah, Bash is yeah. getting paid and not doing nothing. Yeah. Bash, if he watches, do something. That We're boy, trying to help. That boy you. got a still leg though. <laughs> <laughs> that kneecap hit different. That boy limping. But I was like, no. But I was gonna say, um, not nah, uh, yeah. But like, it depends what he did in the military. I don't know what he was a machine gun. No, Jason was, was communications and Bash was a he, engineer. He can do. Oh my God, what's Bash doing? Not an engineering job. But, He's going to Keen. Military, free, free shit, but he can go into a communications job somewhere else. You could go to FBI and do it. You're just gonna have to do your physical fitness test again. It's a but the FBI one is way lighter. It's or different. Yeah, totally different. Um, you literally go to the gym, bro. What I are we do talking go to about? the gym. Okay, if I want to work in HR for the CIA, just hire and fire. You're gonna have a physical. We have the best of the best. Do you understand? Why the fuck do I gotta run if I'm gonna sit in this damn desk? Because we have a standard. We have the best. Wait, I got I gotta run a mile. How much? Six minutes? Like seven or eight. That's it. I can I'm do that t- shit, bro. In high school, we were coach run made us run it in six minutes. Yeah, that's true. Like you feel me? I'm, so I'm washed, nigga. <laughs> I ain't like I ain't like how I used to be. I gotta. But I'm saying you can get that done. If you want six figures, 
Yeah. Hit different. I think it's making me think. Yeah. I don't wanna... not, you're not bread man, bro? I am bread man. All right, then. Like, who's yeah. going to run the podcast? You. I can work from home? You can work from home. I'm trying to tell niggas. Are you going to send can... me that job application? Yeah, I meant to. But like, yo, this week, <sighs> bombarded with work. It was max. Uh, okay. Yeah. I need to I find more. I got you, though. When I go, probably... Probably not tonight because I'm gonna forget. But tomorrow, it's it's text me again tomorrow. Though. I got you. It's time but to yeah. find a job. You know, graduating soon type shit. But I'm. Oh my god, it's so free. I Even if you're doing that. it, don't like it. You can literally stop. <laughs> like you can literally just not do it. Like, <laughs> but the, the benefits are still there. No, but I Fuck. mean, if you quit mid contract, oh. <laughs> how, how long the contract could be? Like two years. You negotiate. You can. It could be two. You. I think usually it's like two or three. Three years, bro. And you could do the podcast from any. If they're like, you got to move to DC, you can do the podcast from DC. We'll see. You nah. and Jay move to DC. All you got to do is just bring this shit there. Uh, see, DC's only a three hour drive. Literally, maybe. all you do is just bring this shit I'm um, 83% no. And I'll be going to DC. It's light. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, it's light. All right, we'll see. If y'all see me in the military, I doubt I will be. But hey, me. bro, I'll Work probably be social media man. manager. But. <laughs> All right, so you are being trapped in the mall for 24 hours for $100 million against this one animal. Which one are you choosing? A cheetah or a gorilla? Cheetah. No, I don't think I'm picking a cheetah. There's nothing that a, I can do that a gorilla can't. I, I, go, I think I, I can outrun a gorilla. You can't outrun a cheetah. You're not outrunning either of them, pal. I, I can outrun a gorilla. Like you talking about a straight line? Yes. You have a. Tame, I am outrunning you have that a gorilla. Thirty yard head start. Yes. You're getting caught. Are you telling me that gorilla is not catching? Gorillas me? don't run. They I know. Gallop. They gallop. That's yeah, you're I'm, cooked. What I'm. Mean? I am the more advanced species from that. Fuck. Person. Does that mean he's not gonna you catch? Think he me. gives a fuck about that this? cheetah is gonna catch you. All right. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Look how fast they. I'll look up too. How <laughs> fast is how fast is cheetah? Uh, gorilla Cheetahs are max. <laughs> how fast does a uh, how fast dies? Okay, bad. Twenty five miles per hour. Nigga, light. Nigga, what? You do not run that fast, bro. Niggas, you like, don't even want to run. Niggas, ty- niggas, fitness niggas, test. niggas like Tyreek Hill run twenty two miles an hour on a sprint. I can do you know the average speed of a human. What? The average speed of a human. What is it? Eight miles per hour. I definitely don't run eight miles an hour. I'm not <laughs> average. No regulars, nigga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right. Listen, this is a joke. We'll double it. Sixteen miles per hour. All right. You know what? Let me see what Hussein Bolt's top speed was. It was like twenty miles an hour. I'm not, t- I'm not running at twenty. I can run eighteen, but think about it. It's not like we're racing, Ty. I'm a, I'm a good, I'm gonna be a good like hundred feet away from him. Yeah, but like, bro, that he's cheetah. Going to, here's the here's the catch too. Cheetah, yeah, doesn't have the dexterity, the phalanges, the yeah. thumbs. It's no, it's it has its paws are not meant for smooth. You know, yeah. Malls have polished floors. Nigga, going with the marble flooring shit. I'm saying, bro, <laughs> gonna slip. Gorilla don't care about none of that. He can get shifty. Second is there's nothing a gorilla can do that I can do that a gorilla can't. So you're gonna run. Gorilla can't read. <laughs> Cooked you. Cooked you. What else, bro? Come on. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> the fuck is reading gonna do for me? Nigga, reading is beneficial. No, what is that gonna do for me in a mall when he's trying to fucking murder me, nigga? <laughs> what is he gonna do for me, bro? Think about it. Stop. Where? I where? Read the... you a lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what is that gonna do? We're for an American me? Dream Mall. You tell me you can't, bro. No. A gorilla? Even watch this. No. Why? It just won't. It just won't. So, like, why? Say you run. You you're good. You're running. You're getting in front of him. Yeah. You're not gonna run forever. He has better stamina than you, bro. You at peak, I Darius. Like I'm talking, this is junior year, fresh off of a the like, fresh off of conditioning. Darius is not outrunning a I gorilla. Can, look, I'm gonna evade him, knowing it doesn't work like that. So look, 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 you're gonna be running, even if you're like, I right, go through a door, close doors behind you, big lefts and rights. You know that gorilla is gonna do. What? Break that fucking door down. Nah. He's gonna literally truck it. He's not even gonna try to use the knob. Doom. I don't Doom. think I don't think I don't think first first of all I don't think first instinct or first instance he's gonna run that door over. I I'm gonna have I'm gonna have I'm These gonna niggas have, run through trees, gang. Okay, I'm I'm gonna have a good twenty seconds to think of a plan of what to do, and now by then I will be in a, in an air duct. Yo, 
if he sees you climbing into an air duct, that is the freest meal. What Free. the fuck he gonna do? He not gonna know how to get up there. Oh wait, you didn't think these niggas had bounce? Oh no, I don't think he's doing it, bro. I'd rather he's I, going to. I'm, he gonna see you go, bro. This go is, in right. You go go to air duct, jump, bro, smack it. This is this is my fr- grab it, pull it down. Now now he and he just gonna crush it. You're dead, bro. This is my thought process, right? If I'm in a mall and I'm hiding from these things, mm-hmm. say if I'm outside, if I'm like. You've been to American Dream Mall, right? Mm-hmm. If I'm in the food court and the nigga, or no, or say I'm in the lower level and niggas is down the hall, he sees me. Mm-hmm. I, nobody's in the mall. I'm by myself. Mm-hmm. That cheetah will catch up to me before that gorilla will. If he's down the hall. That's what I'm saying. Says, oh, yeah. But check this. But I would rather a gorilla. The cheetah. Yes. You just have to make one left. Bro, you act like. Four-legged like, mo- four, monsters. Four-legged animals. Yeah. You go left. They can't turn. Bro, technically, a gorilla is on four legs. They're galloping. They're, yeah, but they're so their range of motion, they go left, like they go out. Whereas, you ever heard, like, if you're running from a bear, run left and right? You don't yeah. run straight? Yeah, same thing. You don't run because they can't, they don't, can't go left and right. They have to run direct forward, right? Yeah. Gorillas can turn, they can rotate 360. Bruh. I stu- environmental science, bro. No, I studied this. I can't. So look, I'm not picking that. So look, the cheetah. If I go behind a door, I go into a metal door freezer. Yeah. Close the door. I'm good. I'm good with the gorilla, gorilla too. Gorilla is going to rip that shit off. No, they're not. Dude, I don't think a gorilla. A is silverback. Gonna... Yeah, no. I don't think he's gonna really rip that shit open. Do you know how strong they are? Do that you door know? is heavy as shit. They can throw cars. Gang. Oh, well, now his dumb, his dumb ass gonna fucking. That door gonna fall on him, and now he did. He won't die. That shit will not. You know how much they weigh. Nah, that shit don't, bro. Look, look. Go ahead, give me, give me the math. I'm still picking the gorilla. I'm picking that gorilla, and I'm going to outlast that gorilla. Gorilla, wait. People, put it in the comments right now if you made it this far. Gorilla or cheetah? Three. What? Three hundred and fifty pounds. That's light, nigga. That's fucking... That's a big that show. That door is not doing shit to him. That's a big show. A big show, bitch. Say no. <laughs> but, Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm telling you, man. That gorilla... That gorilla... I want to see how much a gorilla can bench press. Let's look, let's look at bro, that. Bro, a gorilla can't fucking bench press. A gorilla can bench press 4,000 pounds. Hmm. You think that door faces him? I have never seen a gorilla bench press. That's just an estimate. So let's get that clear. Gorillas aren't bench pressing shit. 4,000 is crazy. But work. he can throw that door out the fucking way. Uh, 24 hours There's nothing You can't hide There's no He can break everything You can hide behind A cheetah you can hide uh-huh. With a cheetah you can You can literally lock the door <laughs> like, Just lock this door Lock your room door We're straight Gorilla mm-hmm. is breaking that shit down But he will catch you Before you get into the room That's what I'm trying to tell you Nah he won't a You cheetah. make a left <laughs> And he's sliding What if there's no you left tie You make a American Dream is a straight down. Yeah, Except and you go only, into a store. Only, go into the very first store you see. Go to the back, close the door. Go to the bathroom, close the door. I don't know, bro. I think I'm gorilla picking Gorilla breaking that whole You're shit. You're picking che- Cheetah? Easily. All right, bro. It's too free. Let's see what people let's see what the people say once I make this into a clip. All right. Do you got a question to ask or you want me to keep going? No, you go ahead. So, would you rather, who would you rather try to survive for two hours? Mm. 20 Stephen Hawkings, but their chairs go 30 miles an hour. And plus, oh, let me say that again. Would you rather? Which one would you? Who would you rather try to survive for two hours in a ring, like a gladiator style ring? Stephen Hawking's, but their chairs go thirty miles an hour, or twenty Stephen Hawking's, but their chairs go thirty miles an hour, or ten Helen Keller's with pistols. Who are you choosing? This is a crazy question. You're sick. <laughs> You're sick. You're sick. You're sick. You're sick. You're sick. You're sick. Oh God. Stephen Hawking. You're... Dude, that's, that's like... like wow, you could get hit. He could bro, hit you with the chair. He could hit you with the chair. That's 30. And you get a... I'll give you a bat. But Helen Keller has a fucking blick. She has a bl- 10 of them. She's blind and deaf, though. I'm, I'm, I might take my probability I with Helen Keller. I might go with Helen. Because, first of all, Stephen Hawking, he's smart as shit. He gonna, he gonna angle the trajectory of where I'm gonna be at and ram me. My legs is done. You could dive out the way, but there's... 20 of them there's 20 of them just like zooming like go you dive the next one's coming that's a, that's like imagine you get you're Helen in the middle Keller, of a, she might pick herself off yeah oh yeah that's <laughs> true <laughs> yo this nigga yo did you just hear what he did 
<laughs> Yo, you tweet. <laughs> Kill her. She's gonna end up shooting one of the, the one of the other hand Kelly. killers. That's what I'm saying. I'm picking that one. <laughs> this nigga Yo, just put yourself in this in this ring. You drop to the floor. I'm just gonna crawl. And then first, well, first, <laughs> and no. the shoot. Why are you still going? Why? One of them gets hit. Just think about the noise they make when they get hit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This is where we go. This is where God is free. God, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't laugh at this guy, but now nah, I'm picking Helen Keller. But I'm picking Helen Keller just for the fact that Stephen Hawking. That's like if you go into like the RPM race car track, oh, and you're just standing there as they're yeah, driving around yeah, you. Yeah, you're gonna break a calf. That's yeah, no, nah, they're gonna they're gonna kill me. They're gonna knock my legs off. Yeah. Helen Keller, easy uh, money line. Helen Keller, yeah. and I got a bat. I'm just going to pick them off one by one. It's easy work. Easy work. I'm just going to lay down and wait for it to end. Oh, no, but one, she might just go shoot like this willy nilly. That 10 <laughs> pistols randomly. Four of them knocked off first. Four of them off rip? Yeah, they're knocking themselves off. Oh, my gosh, bro. But I think that was the last would you rather question. Do you have anything? Uh, you want to play our one last game before we end the pod? Have, I did have the game, yes. Let's go play this one last game. I'm so ready. It's very similar to the other game, right? But uh-huh. It's me versus you at the same time. Yeah. So right now, you, you suck at the other one. Yeah, it's very bad. We could try it with, you know, the next person on, see how bad you are. All right, we'll check. We'll try. But check this. So, I forgot the name of it again. Yeah. Those same guys made it. Yeah. Now, you're going to think of somebody. Like yeah. When we start, you're going to think of a, a person. A person, yeah. I'm going to think of a person. Yeah. We each, it goes by round. So, I'm going to ask you a question and you ask me a question, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I might ask you. Um, is your person a celebrity? You ask me, is your person an athlete? Is this like guess who? Yeah. Okay, okay. And then By whoever the... gets a guess answers first in the least amount of questions. Ah, uh, okay, gets, okay. Gets the dub. All right, bet, bet, bet. All right, let me let me think of a person. I'm thinking of mine right now. I'm not going to go stupid. I'm going to go decently. I'm um, going to go decent. Yep, I got mine. Um... Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. They can be fictional character. Oh. You know what I'm saying? They can be... Okay. Um. All right. Got it. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. So, uh, it's the same round, but I'll go first. Um, yeah. Is your person a fictional character? Yes. Okay. Is your person real? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Um. Is your person in a superhero? No. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Is your person a male? Yes. Okay. Don't know why you hesitated. No, because I <laughs> I don't know. Why. I have to remember who my person was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. All right. All right. Go ahead. Um. Is your person in Cartoon Network? No. Does your person play a sport? Never. Never. Never play one. Okay. Um. Is your person, where is it, on any one of these three? No. Okay. All right. Is your person have anything to do with the color red? Yes. Okay. I cooked them already. No, no, you, there's no shot. You have no clue who this person is. I promise you. There's no shot you guess who this person is. Um, is your person related to Marvel? No. Okay. Does your Is your person old? Yes. Okay. Um, is your person in a TV show? Yes. Okay. Mitt Romney. <laughs> yeah, I love the guess. I love the guess. I love the guess, but no. Damn. All right. I thought it was um, Was he Republican? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, fuck <laughs> this fucking guy. Um, <laughs> um, is your person in an animated series? Yes. Like, okay. Is your person of the Caucasian descent? Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Is your person related to the DC universe? No. Damn it. What the fuck? <laughs> is your person Donald Trump? No. Damn. <laughs> yeah, He's old, old. You're not going to get my person. I'm going to win this. So oh, wait. I think I got There's it. no shot you get my person. I bet. Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. Is your person in this uh, show Invincible? No. Damn it. Is your person a politician? Yes. <laughs> I think I know what it is. You have no clue. This is impossible. There's no way. Like, you know who the person is, but you're just not going to guess. All right. Yeah. I know uh, who it is already. <laughs> All right. I got two guesses. Um, is your person... A villain? <laughs> no. What the fuck? Is your person a politician in another country? Yes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's cooked. <laughs> He's cooked. <laughs> There's like three options. There's like three options. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, damn, bro. Not a villain. Is your person in anime? Somewhat anime, yeah. Okay. I'll get American anime. Okay. Um, Putin. No. All right. That's Is it. your person in Naruto? Nope. Damn. Uh, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> no. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck? Yeah. Um. Who the fuck? Is. Who the fuck? Damn you! Damn, bro. Who the fuck? What nah, politician bro. do I know? I don't know these damn. Where's your person? Nigga like, gave me a politician. It's crazy. Is oh, American? Is your is your person on Adult Swim? No. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Uh, the the Chancellor of China. No. You know who this person is? How the fuck do I don't? What the fuck? You just gotta think harder. But um, uh, what? The TV show that your person is in has it? Does it still like have new episodes coming out? No. Now? Okay. Um, is this person, this old person, politician that has to deal with the color red, is it in a country that is friends with the United States? Currently, yes. Um, who the fuck? Who the bro? F- where yo? What? Who the fuck is friends with Biden? Who? Who? Yo, what is your sh- favorite? Yo, bro. Who is your person? <laughs> He's not gonna get this. <laughs> I need to narrow it down. Do I know this person? Yeah. Damn. Oh, we'll back real quick. I definitely know who this person is. Yeah. Um, is your person? He's white. He's white in another country, bro. I don't even know where to narrow this down to, bro. Politician that's white. Uh, I really don't even know where to narrow this down, bro. Is your person? Is your person black? Um, not black, but she's, she's not like. She's not so okay. Damn. Not black. No. Okay. Please <laughs> be selling. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, um. <laughs> who the who the hell is friends with Biden? That's white, color red. Is the country that they are a politician in in Asia? No. Um. <laughs> Is your person? <laughs> is your person in the Teen Titans? Nope. Is your person? Is your person a politician in North America? No. Okay, so it's Europe. <laughs> what? Bro, where is this? What the hell? Hope Shake Shack's still open. My mind just wandered. Does your is your, does your person fight crime? Yeah. Does your person is your person a politician? Is your person a politician in Europe? 
Yes. Well, yes, but not right now, but yes. They were, yeah. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Who the freak? Who the... Now, who is it? What? You say your person's not a hero? Not a superhero? No, he is a super, she is a superhero. Wait, but if they're not a superhero... Oh, they are? Yeah. Okay. Changes everything. But it's like... It's like not really... They saved the world. <laughs> yeah, you know, not really your average superhero. You know what I mean? I know this person? Yeah, you know this person. It's impossible. There's you no do. way I know this person. <laughs> it's so random. I just thought about it. But what? He used to be. Um, In Europe. In Europe. In Europe. In Europe. Can you watch your person's show on a streaming service? Yeah. Okay. All right. Is this Was this past politician... A politician in Russia. No. Oh my God! I know who it is. You're a fucking sicko. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> um. Oh, this better not be who I think it is. Wait, no, it can't be. What? I think I know. I don't know, bro. You might be baked. There's no way. Wait. Who is your person? On Disney? Nope. What the fuck? Is your person used to be a politician in Germany? <laughs> He's a fucking sicko. He's a sicko, yo. He's a sicko. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it Hitler? Yo, yo, it was my question. Oh, first, my fault. Go I, ahead. But now I got to shoot a guess out here before I lose. Let's see. <laughs> First of all, nigga said, saves the world? What the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Is, is your person Moana? Wow. That was actually really close. What? Are you serious? Like, like that's actually really close. But is your person Hitler? Yeah. First, wow. I'm 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 gonna dap you up because you're not <laughs> like you're not. You were like around the ballpark, but with that guess, you're not really close. But you're closer than the other. Closer one. than every the other. One. It, it was Katara from Avatar, oh. and you said Moana because they both look alike and they both yeah. bend water. Yeah. So I'm like, oh no, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hitler. Yeah. First of all, they're not our friends. No, nah, I didn't say they were our friends. Well, they, that's what the country is now. I said now, but they weren't. Oh wow. Yeah, like Germany is our ally now. I thought I had it. Nigga said, nigga made it Hitler, bro. Yeah, Hitler wasn't. Yeah, nah, he wasn't getting Katara, bro. If you would have get, if you would have got Nickelodeon, like guess yeah, Nickelodeon? I was gonna go through all of them. I'm like, I'm about to waste my time. Let's go. I did everything. Regular. Damn, you should have. If should've. I said Nickelodeon, you would have had it at least. I would have oh, locked in. Cause like they're not superheroes, but they do save the world. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But do you got anything else you want to talk about before we end the podcast, bro? Um. Yo, you heard uh, the shooter in Kansas City was doing 360s and shit? <laughs> no cap. Like, he literally was spinning and shooting. Like, that was like his... on some cool shit? He was spinning in circles shooting. That's how he got his... He killed, like, one person, right? That's... Yeah. He asked. How the fuck you he's, kill one nigga? Wow. Whoa. You... Yeah. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I meant, like, in the style yeah. of which he was shooting. And you're... <laughs> <laughs> like you only got one blick on one kill you, you know you know like but yeah, no, you're fucked up all prayers to the people at uh, Kansas City hope you guys are okay I think they caught like three people dang why can't they just have fun bro I seen Jason Kelsey having fun with the if Lucha. you're spinning around shooting like that bro you could have fucking shot Mahomes bro he was bugging <laughs> Nah, for real. <laughs> he could have hit Kelsey. Like, was it like a, was it like a crazy dude or was it just like a I don't know he, he, apparently he, he got into an argument with a girl and then just oh <laughs> That's a crazy uh, thing, man. Just he just his yeah. first thought was like I'm tornado. To spin. 
tornado tornado <laughs> warning. Turn into Fabio Four and spinning. <laughs> 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 nah, that's OD. Dang, nah. that wouldn't have happened if the if not. Nah, it'd have been worse if Baltimore. It'd been worse. Yeah, it'd been other niggas shooting back. Nah, it'd been crazy. Them kids, Baltimore's a crazy place. Bro, there's kids that be um like you know the harbor and shit. Yeah. There's kids that be like like handshaking like you know for bread. Niggas say yeah. no, they will hit you your car with the, the scooter. Why? Cause they like fuck you, nigga. Like what? Like why are you doing? Like where my bread at? Oh no! Nah, like you know the little uh the the powered scooters like the yeah. the lime shits. They're driving. Shit. They'll be they'll be hijacking them shits. They be riding them shits all over the place. And then I remember I think Jay was telling me or something like one of the or there was a story like one of the kids like threw that shit out of car. Yeah, Dent that bitch up. They did that in uh, Rutgers. They threw it at a house. Oh yeah, I remember that baseball house, right? Yep, baseball house. What was that about again? Were you there? No, I wasn't there. I just heard about it. Shout out, shout out the uh, Rockies never baseball team. They my guys, bro. Yeah, real niggas. They know the throw parties. <laughs> Good guys. Dang, bro. But now nah, that shit in Kansas City though. Why the niggas can't just enjoy themselves at the parade? I know that blew my home shit. Oh yeah, but he's probably like, drunk as mine though. Lit, and now you got now I gotta like not be lit. Like he can't post a video of him turning it up now. I know because prayers. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, like he can't, he can't. <laughs> prayers. Like, he can't turn up now. <laughs> that man, Jason Kelsey, was going stupid in that luchador mask, bro. Yeah. You seen that shit? He was bugging out. That shit's... Bugging out. That man's too out. funny. I love that guy, bro. Bugging out, yeah. It's still... It's uh, Taylor Swift Kato. You know what I'm saying? It's still Taylor Shut Swift Kato. Spice. I think it's crazy. But you got anything else you want to talk about, bro? Nah, bro. Not anything else? Thank you again for pulling up to another episode of the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Like, comment, post notifications if you like the content, or just do it in general, you know. It helps with the algorithm, that algorithm out. I need more of y'all in post notifications. And shout out to Bottle Joy again for sponsoring our videos, you know. Uh, code, code No Regs will be coming in soon. If y'all going to cop one, put in the comments, 20% off. And shout out to my little cousin, his brand, Ease, Ease the Pain, you know what I'm saying. I would like to show you the back. The back is fire. But, you know, you got to go look for yourself, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Support the peoples. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, we different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangster.